like my light is so bright. I wonder if people um, thought we weren't coming today. Are we late? Two, three minutes. Oh, no. Okay, sorry about that. Sorry about being late. Good morning. Oh, good morning, good morning. Okay, let's do... Wow, do you feel like this is... Oh, yeah, I didn't do that. Sorry, thank you. Feel like it's close? I, I always feel like it's close. Let's just ta take okay. it back a touch. Good morning, good morning. <gasps> Hello, lovely knitting people. I've had zero sips of coffee so far this morning. Here we go. That seems weird, but it's way over there. Because this is the camera, though. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay. I get it, Joe. You know Thank who you. I want to talk to? No, no. Flannels and Pearl. Oh, I know. I know! Because... Christopher. Chris's... Um, it looked so crystal clear. Oh, Jody, he's like profesh. Is he? I wonder well, he's I'm, probably using a fantastic camera. I'm going to reach out. This is for me, too? No. no. Do you know what? We could get the same. Jody was coffee delivery this morning. Um, we could use our phones. Yeah. I was actually thinking too of hanging track lighting with for us, like a track for. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is so boring, right, people? Good morning. Not worth it. Um. I see so many comments. Sorry, I'm just reading. Good morning. How are you? We are. The Grocery Girls. We are. I am Tracy. I'm Jody, And we're coming to you from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. We are knitters. We are and crocheters. Knitters. I'm a crocheter now. You are. Yeah. You know, I made one project and it's like, it's in. I'm in. I feel like I'm in the club. Hello, Wyoming. Good morning. Good morning, Kev. Nothing, nothing is boring when it comes to YouTube. Aw, you're so nice. Um, it looks like I washed my glasses with Vaseline. It looks like my face has been washed in Vaseline, but that's like rare beauty shimmer for you. I love Apparently it. Apparently I'm a little glowy this morning. Okay. I felt a slight disorganization in my life this morning. I don't know why. Did you? Yeah, total. I just for feel some reason. completely like, I feel like I haven't done this for months. And normally it's like, I feel like I did this yesterday. Mm-hmm. I don't know why it's like that. Maybe because we're week. downstairs and we've been outside for the last several. I don't know what the deal is. But here's the thing. Buckle up. Prepare to take us in segments because today we feel, I feel like we're so flummoxed because we have a lot of crap to do. Flummoxed. We brought, we brought it. There's finished objects. There's a giveaway. There's... You sweaters, know. sweaters, sweaters. All the mohair sweaters you can handle. We have five new sweaters. Almost six. And then we've got some really fun things in the grocery girl shop at the moment. We'd love to share that with you. I have I have a brand new pattern today, but don't get too excited because it's not out yet and it won't be out for a few months. Good but morning, I, I want to share it because I loved it. A few months? I loved it. Yeah. Oh, bummer. But um, I had so much fun. That's one of my things that I did this week. Is that waving pink hand new? I don't know. Was there an update I wasn't aware of for I don't emojis? No, but I do. Listen, one of Good my morning, favorite Mindy. things oh. when there's an update, I go straight to the emojis because who doesn't love a you know bigger emoji library to deal with? Okay, you guys, I feel like we're so close, but that's Tracy, not. That's just me not wanting to be close. Mike, here's my question of the day. Uh huh. Here's the first question of the day. Do you get extra hot flashes in the morning when you drink caffeine? Yes for me. OMG. Um, no. No. Usually I don't get hot flashes in the morning. Oh. I may get one in the afternoon. I guarantee get some in the evening. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I've been drinking Starbucks blonde from the grocery store with some silk milk mm -hmm. in the morning. And I've been thinking, why am I so sweaty in the morning okay caffeine Maybe that is, and you looked it up it's and a, that's thing. a thing very very big thing hot flashes every yeah, night star. star isn't it the worst good morning star um okay. georgia we're podcasting georgia has a migraine today which totally sucks georgia so we're just gonna yell at her in whispers georgia she's smiling she's smiling and she's got Can breakfast you go make me breakfast i'd love a breakfast eggs over Sammy. easy wouldn't that be nice? A nice crispy English muffin. Love it. Yum. 
Um, you guys are hilarious. Oh, it's a YouTube emoji, they say. <gasps> okay. Tribby says she's 67 has never had a hot gosh. Lucky duck. Braggy. Lucky ducky. Yes, caffeine and alcohol <laughs> can influence, yeah. Okay, makes sense. Okay. Soy milk doesn't trigger, Anne said. No, you don't get, you drink no. oat milk. From, oh, from... no, silk is soy milk, right? What? Christina told me blonde Starbucks has more caffeine than the other. What? And I'm not drinking it because I think it's lower caffeine, but I just. You just like the way it tastes. It... Mm -hmm. um, anyway, hot flash never had it. I'm a happy non menopauser. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> That's really great, really. Oh. Um, 68 Hot. and still flashing, says Sharon. <sighs> Looking forward to the next 15 well, there years, you go. Sharon. There you go. Um, but I've had a great two weeks. I was just thinking this morning, I have not seen my mom and dad, our mom and dad, since last Monday. She came, popped over Saturday morning. I was out doing a few errands. She dropped off some really beautiful uh, market veggies. Yeah. Shane was outside, but I was gone. So we missed her and I haven't seen them. Hmm. Well, you should pop over. I'm going to pop over yeah. today, I, I think, yeah. actually. They're busy too, right? They're on mm. the go, but mm -hmm. yeah. Um, saw Barbie. Saw Barbie. Did you? I went and saw Barbie because I knew you saw, I really wanted to see it. Sunday wasn't good for you. Sunday didn't work. We had dinner planned so it was like ah, oh, i got too much stuff to do um and then i thought you know what on monday jeff worked late so he, there wasn't really i didn't really feel like i had to make dinner and so i went and saw it Ta tell me all about it. you got barbie nails um everybody on this planet should watch barbie i thought it was so good it was when, so when I good. saw the previews i thought to myself oh it's like a oh that dance scene is everything um, when I saw the previews initially for Barbie, I thought, I don't think I need to go see that. I just thought it was literally like a live action version of Barbies. I and think... honestly, now I feel like mm, that would have not been so bad, but it really was so much more than that. It was and so I good. Everybody thought that. I yeah. thought that no one realized the impact this movie would yeah. have. It was amazing. So it good. It was totally amazing. And I ended up going by myself. I don't mind that. I love, I actually don't no. mind it. You know, you sort of, oh, I, I looked up when the movie would be and it was like 25 minutes. So I was like, oh my gosh. Get the <laughs> Put car. on my shoes and I'm out of here. Yeah. I actually love going to movies. I don't care if anyone comes or not. Um, but my husband, when he got home, he goes, what? You went by yourself? It's like, yeah, well, I gave you the chance. Hello. Right. But I will go again. We, th we left thinking we could go right back in and watch well, it Well, and our nephew, who is like 12, has yeah. seen it three times. Yeah, so good. So it's it's not just a chick flick. It's not just a fun, you know, it really is the reflecting the world back at us in a very interesting way. And it's funny. I loved it. I, have, of course, who would mean so much? Mm-hmm. I agree. I, I will not be the only time that I watch that If I wasn't that working, I would have gone with you again on Monday. Yeah. Anyway, it was good. Loved um, it. And we were at Flock Fiber in Seattle. Maybe that's why we're kind of like, whoa. Because we literally, we did that video and the next day we were gone. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you're trying to do catch up at work and getting all that stuff together. Mm -hmm. um, and then I'm doing the same thing tomorrow. We're heading away for a little getaway. So... Same old, same old. That's good. It's been a rush, rush, um, and have these amazing experiences in this last three months, and then you get home and you still have you have to catch up. Right. So we're in. There's I'm in that fun, cycle. And then there's real life. Yeah. Which I do love so much. Yeah. Yeah. It's been great. Fall, you know, fall kind of amps up for us knitters. I love. There's events to go to and knit alongs and things we want to knit and wear. Mm -hmm. um, I loved it. I love it. Fall is my favorite. By far. My favorite. It's coming. By far. It's coming. That's what so, they say. And yet it's supposed to be 30 degrees today. It's crazy. And we're both wearing mohair thinking, look how that back collar. Back off summer. That collar is on You guys, point. I can't wait to talk about this finished object. Tracy, I feel like I need to knit this. Jody, I was going to knit you one for your birthday. Don't, no, remember we said. that. That's then, that was before the whole. No more, there's not enough knitting time in the day. I know what you mean. I totally so, get it. I agree. 
But when I was knitting this, I was messaging with Melissa, the designer, and I said to her, I think I need to order more yarn and make one for Jody for her birthday. That's how much, like, as I'm knitting it, I'm like, everybody needs one. Is it fingering and mohair? Fingering plus mohair plus mohair. I have that with my new well, there you the yarn you, you gave me. You can knit me. your own one. You can knit your own. Jody, that color. Come on. <gasps> Only because, okay, I think we're going all over we the place. We are totally out of order. Okay, let's. If you're new, that's normal. There are a lot of tangents. There's no planning. Us saying, oh my gosh, I don't know what's going on. Um, that's just the way things go yeah. here. Um, but Melissa started teasing about the sweater Tracy's going to talk about. She's yeah. in the new Lina magazine coming yeah. up. Let's talk about your sweater. Okay. We are going to go head into finished laughter. We're also going to be talking about flock as we go because it was an incredible festival. We'll have a flock section for sure. Yeah. Because the trip was so much fun. Mm. Um and yeah, I, I honestly, I love going places that I've never been. Yeah. And had like all those first impressions. And it was everything you kind of wanted it to be. Yeah. Um, so in 2018, Melissa um, Clulo designed the turtle dove sweater. Like we've each knit, I don't know how many. It's so amazing. It's knit with a bulky yarn, but fluffy 14 stitch gauge. It was, it's, everybody that knits it looks amazing in it. It's phenomenal. It's quick. You need it on a big needle. Um, and then I got the lovely, amazing opportunity early, was it late last year or early this year, um, to see if I wanted to test knit the, te the Turtle Dove cardigan. So I saw that and I was like, well, yes, thank you so much. It's the same idea. It's fluffy. It's a very deep raglan. Very deep raglan. You guys, this shape, I tell you, if you saw Tracy standing back, this is incredible. I have to say, the turtle dove is always a pattern I have felt very, I feel like it flatters everybody. Mm -hmm. And I've always felt really good in it. Mm -hmm. um, this is very similar. It's got this stunning twisted rib in the collar. It's knit top down. It is raglan construction. Um, and you can see mine is kind of heathered and I showed you guys, the only thing I could show you so long ago was my swatch. So this was my swatch and it is in Sonder yarn in their, they've got their beautiful Sunday morning line, which is a BFL Massam blend. And this is the four ply. You can also get DK. This is actually the Ecru. Mm, is that true? I think it might be. I forget. Uh, but anyway, the color's called Solitude. So my woolly wool was Solitude. Mm -hmm. And then I paired it with their Halo mohair in the color Petrichor. So that's why you're getting a little bit of color difference. Love. I love it. You don't need to be matchy-matchy perfectly. I mean, you can do high contrast mohair, So you right? could do DK and fingering. You can do whatever gets you the gauge of what was the gauge of this? Stitches. This is fourteen as well. I think so. Yeah. <gasps> Sorry, I don't. And I mean the pattern. I, I'm pretty. I don't have it right on me, but um, it will be coming out in Lina magazine. The issue has so many gorgeous, um, the gauge patterns is 16. in it. Thank you, Mindy. Gauge is sixteen. Okay. There's also Turtle Dub two, which is gauges. 16 I think mm -hmm. so I'm not I don't know if Mindy tested it this or not but actually this is on she's probably just checking Ravelry yeah we can all go oh, to Ravelry you yes. guys the preview for these patterns are is on Ravelry so 16 okay okay so. do you know what I love about this here's no. the thing and I'm and I and Hohe allowed me to have two of my test knitters to test knit her instant crush sweaters yeah she's totally right and that allows yarn dyers to have things ready as the sweaters get released right so there is a picture that you're going to see in line of oh, magazine how yeah. gorgeous is that um this was such a fun knit and cardigans i feel like they take a little bit longer than a pullover for me but not a lot it's a very it was a large needle big gauge your ribbing is built in the ribbing's built in it is literally there's when you're done <gasps> when you bind off you are We're done done oh wow so it feels like you're doing your raglan increases kind of forever because it's a deep raglan 
But once you're done, it's like there's not very much straight knitting on the body. I modified nothing. This is a three-quarter sleeve pattern, and it is kind of cropped. See how deep the... I modified absolutely nothing, and I got... Really? Yeah, I swatched twice to get gauge. It's right on gauge. So I will be making um, a good... I haven't taken a real photo of it yet or made my project on Ravelry, but I will. This was actually my first swatch, which is also Sonder Look yarn. Look that color on you. You guys, I could do another one. In I've got the yarn for this if I want to. <gasps> it's very pretty. And it's Although this so is Barbie. Awesome. Yeah. I can see why you had trouble deciding because both are excellent choices. Well, and I, like I've been saying forever, I'm trying to add colors in my, my closet that are not represented, mm -hmm. right? Like I want a rainbow of sweaters. Um, this is totally happening. I just don't know what pattern I'm going to do. But I have to say, a cardigan is nice for us um, naturally hot people, yes. right? It's not as... Mm -hmm. And yet this is, it's just weighs nothing, mm -hmm. right? So fingering weight plus two strands of mohair. Um, somebody did use Surrey. So yeah. if you like fluffy yarn, what about something like um, Drops Air? Mm. Or well, that was the original yes. nug or whatever. Like there's yeah. lots of yarn I love that'll it. give you that 16 stitch gauge. I should have thought, go to the Ravelry. It is the gauge is 16 stitches. And I think that was the gauge of Turtled Up 2, if I'm not mistaken. Do we have Lina Magazine coming? Yes. You guys, this. So we'll have this. We always carry Lina Magazine, every new issue. Um, it's kind of like fall is like, get ready, you know, start your engines, knitters. Uh -huh. It's officially sweater season. Um, so you can't get this pattern yet. Sorry, I have my It's not to sept this. The book is not till September 15th. Yeah. So that's where you're going to be able to find this pattern. Mm hmm for I don't know how long, like a year or something like that. Yeah. So you've got to buy the mag, the, book. the magazine to yes, get the, the magazine. Yeah. Um, but it's beautiful, and I can't recommend the yarn enough. You, we've talked about it so much. It is such a favorite. Um, Isn't it exciting when it these is. new garments come out? Like I've got some to show you that we're just dying to get on. And our I'm needles. just so excited for Melissa. I've, you know, she's got this gift for simple elegance patterns that. As a knitter, I love to wear, or I love to knit, but also it's like something that's seamless and easy to wear. Yeah. They're not fussy. They're not fan. Like, do you know what I mean? I mean, I can't tell you how many patterns we have knit together. They're just throw one and go. I just go to them over and over and over again. So um, I'm thank not you speaking for, to Melissa right now. Thank you to the test knit opportunity. Yes. And it was... So much fun. The hardest part was not being able to share it with you guys. I was thrilled that this was, today was the day. So I'm going to probably have to take this off at some point. I have something else over here that I'm going to have to change into. But, um, because it's not sweater weather. No. Right? But I literally can see myself throwing this on every day. That's so funny. Right? Yes. I do feel like I need more car cardigans in my wardrobe. It's actually, um... Melissa said she was going to come to Why flock. are you not talking with her? Oh, that? And then she was coming home from her holiday and, and thought maybe it was too tight. And, and it was. And she felt I like... just missed her. I, I wanted to see her. Okay. Right now, actually, you have to wear something in the morning because it's cool. And it's then something fabulous. at night. Like, it's, it is changing where you have to think about layering right now. Yeah. So these kind of things. Yeah. To have a t-shirt on underneath then you can just i i would love to knit, on knit another one of these yeah it's beautiful yeah yeah thank you um you guys flock so exciting was packed it was it was so exciting to see a when you know it was like if we had just sort of stumbled upon this we would have been like oh my god this place is like happening right like we would never you would never have known this was their first year mm -hmm. they were just it was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. I agree. It was so well attended. It was so well attended. I'm, why am I getting... Oh. Um, it was so well attended. People loved it. There were so many vendors. It Yeah. You walked up and you... The line... You guys, the lineup. Although, everyone's excited, so they line up early. Let me tell you, the lineup... Everyone was in within 15 minutes. Like, it was like around the building. But oh. that's... But, listen... That's part of the fun. It is. Everyone is so excited. You're in line. You're looking at everyone's And these are all knits. people that had tickets. Yeah. And the building wasn't gigantic. Yes. So, like, it's a lineup 
And you chit chat with people. It's, it's like step one of the festival. Yeah. Get there early. You're meeting people that yeah. you didn't know. And you're like, oh, what are you wearing? And, mm-hmm. and who are you going to go see inside? Like, what are you mm-hmm. looking for? It's so much fun. Mm-hmm. So much fun. Seattle was amazing. We went to Bainbridge, you guys. We went to Bainbridge Island, which is like, check it off the bucket list. How long have we wanted to do that? Bainbridge Island. Forever. We could have spent so much more time than I, yeah, I didn't really one day. Leave. I didn't want to so leave good. those beautiful yarn shops that are on the island. Mm-hmm. We had such a beautiful lunch right on the marina mm-hmm. with friends. That was the other part that made the trip so great. We got to see friends that don't live near us. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, we had um, Nancy meet from, um, she's from Berkeley, California. Mm-hmm. And then Jess and her husband came down from Vancouver. Yeah. Yeah, it was so good. Yeah. But that beautiful ferry to Bainbridge. Too short. And then you look back on the mm. skyline, like the city of Seattle. It was so beautiful. We didn't actually get to do a lot of the Seattle touristy things. There was another festival. I mean, not as big as the Fiber Festival. Mm-hmm. But it was some <laughs> seafarer festival or something like that. Mm-hmm. Like, it was kind of a big draw for the city. And people that were going to the Space Needle and Pike Market and stuff, they said, packed. Yes. So we were like, ah, uh, pass. You know, we'll and then, go again yeah. in a, next time or yeah. another time. We were busy the whole time. We actually, okay, so Bainbridge Island was Lamb and Kid. Mm. Amazing. Come on. Come on. Yeah, that's a destination, you guys. You need to <sighs> totally make a trip. It is Bainbridge, uh, Bainbridge Island for the weekend. You're going to do um, the two yarn stores, La Mercerie. Yes. And Lamb and Kid. Yes. And I mean, Lamb and Kid and La Mercerie, um, you know, you go into Lamb and Kid and it's like, you know, oh my gosh, I recognize it from Instagram lives with Sarah. And, um, but it really is when you're in the space, I feel like it's one of those yarn stores. It's like, it brings you in, it welcomes you. There's cozy places to sit in it. Everything is yeah. inspiring. There's color everywhere. And we literally were welcomed at the door. Mm-hmm. And, you know, how can I help you? And um, Pam. Pam. Pam was like, hi. Um, you know, they're winding yarn and there's a giant table and we're trying to help people pick colors. And it really was just everything. I feel like a local yarn shop it was, with everything I look for. Yeah. Right. There's tons of yarn. And then I thought about it later and thought, wow, that's a yarn shop full of lots of indie dyed. Like when you think, oh, as a business owner and a yarn dyer that... You know, the walls are covered in lamb and kid and it's diamond huge. And yarn. It's a giant yeah. yarn shop. It's suddenly Sue, beautiful. Sue from um, Church Mouse. Yeah. Just That's what I mean by familiar lovely. faces. I told you. I'm like, oh, I really hope we see Susan. Mm-hmm. Um, and La Mercerie also. Gorgeous historic hey, building. Hey, Nikki. <laughs> Gorgeous historic building. Mm-hmm. And it was just so beautifully presented and calming and every line of yarn they had I was like oh I've been dying to knit with that I've been dying to knit with that yes and what I thought was amazing and really interesting is what you could find and the vibe mm. at Lamb and Kid was 100% different totally. than the Mercery and they're right around the corner from each other totally like what an amazing combination like the whole mm-hmm. uh, fiber hot spot in yeah, that part of the guys. world and yes they're all appealing to people that love yarn, but offering different things, which mm-hmm. I think is so great. Yeah. And La Mercerie has their own y- la- yarn line as well. Um, but I lo- what I loved is being able to go to these places and squish all the yarn mm-hmm. and feel it all and dream about it and then kind of go home and think about it and then order. Because I did not go... I always say to people, oh, have a project in mind when you travel because I feel overstimulated mm-hmm. like I, of course I love every color and I want to knit with every yarn and my suitcase does not allow or my bank account your suitcase so, is way too small whose suitcase was overweight mine by a 10 pounds okay <laughs> by 10 plus pounds listen it's only too small for fiber festivals <laughs> <laughs> totally and listen every time we travel it's like, okay, next time I'm going to do this. And next Tracy, time I'm going to do that. Do you remember how I used to pack? It would be like I would have barely any clothes. You would pack two pairs of black pants, two but black I, shirts. Now look, and you would overpack. Now it's completely the other way. 
I wore a third of what I brought. It's crazy. I don't know what the matter. But part of it is, it's like, if we're running around doing stuff during the day, I feel like I get all sweaty. And then if we're going to do something at night, it's like, well, I should have something to change into. And it's not a condo. So it's like, is there laundry? We actually found out later, our little hotel had a laundry oh. thing. It was well, off the lobby. We loved our little Marriott courtyard. Clearly, that we I thought at. we were going to um, fancy things every night because I could. <laughs> but that's part of stress packing. Oh my God. You I just did. Say, oh my God, I'm just going to throw it all in. I will use just it. Just in case. Okay, can I also just say, people, packing cubes are a thing. Yeah. You need extra packing Don't cubes them. for yarn. Yes. When you go to a fiber festival. And I mean, this is a crappy one. But I mean, the good ones that double zip and compress, compress. Target you has need it. very good you ones. Need. You need, you need, you need. Yeah. Um, so I, that was funny. It's, you know what? I love traveling with you. I love going on our trips. I love going I with too. our friend we have Amber. So much fun. We, you know, we rent a car and it actually didn't work. Jody was a <gasps> badass driver. She drove everywhere. You guys. <laughs> Here, want to hear the low point? And it okay. really wasn't even a low point. Kev's, I didn't care. Kev said Ray's packing like he's moving to a new house. Okay, so it ha there has to be one of you that's prepared. Like, yeah. for years, Jody was like, can I borrow your this? Can I borrow your that? And it seems like now you've kind of got, we don't have to do that as much. But it seems like there's always one uh, of us that's like totally prepared and the other one's there to provide support. <laughs> It's Tracy. And the other one's like, I had room for extra um, yarn. People that know us well will know that we did not did not even get from the airport to our hotel before we hit Target. Mm -hmm. There's no Target in Canada. You Americans are probably like, what? That is insane. But it was the coolest Target we've ever been to. And it was right by our hotel. It was like a parkade Target. Like it was on two floors. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it really was awesome. Carson, I see Carson this morning. It was so amazing to see Carson again, too. Who's local? She's so lucky. Yeah. She can, you know. Carson met us for the day at Bainbridge. Listen, Bainbridge, the whole trip was such a highlight. Yeah. I have so many amazing memories I took away from that. Me, too. It was incredible. And the fact we locked our keys in our car is nothing. It was totally not our fault. Tracy, if the fucking Jody, key Jody, I know. Our key fob didn't work from the get-go. You the, guys, we had a crap minivan. This is how I had to unlock the car. You had to release the key from the, the little tool key from the fob, put it in. For some reason, the van thought I was breaking in so the alarm would go off. That happens. Put the key in and then do the fob thing. And don't say replace the battery because we did that at Target. Like, we yeah. really... Anyway, it was kind of the funny story of the night. And then, because we got home, got in our parkade, and Jody's like, "Did I just lock the keys yes, in the car?" I and I was like, "I don't know." Oh my god! Did you? You know what it said on the display? The keys are left behind in the car. And if the fob no is shit. working, it doesn't allow you to do that. So I don't know if it was the Toyota Sienna that we got that was not so great. It was like brand new car. It was only a year old. It was a lovely, lovely minivan. Yeah, it was a hybrid. We barely burned any gas. You guys, six not that we would know because the gas gauge was broken. I actually think for $16, that gauge barely moved. I'm not so sure the gauge was I broken. I feel like it had to have gone down a quarter of a tank with the amount that we drove. I don't know. Like with real gas, all gas, it would have been more. Anyway, it was kind of funny. There was these quirky things that happened, but it was such a great trip. And it was so nice to meet Jess of La Mercerie, who, you know, it was her and her team that put on Flock. Um, it was just awesome. Mm -hmm. And we came I'm home with yarn. And dreaming of other patterns. Yeah. That was su such a great festival. You guys, let me tell you this. The, the Pacific Northwest is the most beautiful part of the world with the mountains and the water, the combination, yeah. the cooler temperatures. I mean, it can get really warm. But Jess had nailed her first show. It yeah. was beautifully curated. All the details were taken care of. All the vent. This is this is where all the vendors seemed so happy. Yes. The volunteers were so thrilled. Yeah, it was an amazing event. Yeah, mark so, your calendars. So come back next year. And here's the other thing: the merch booth, crazy lined up all day. Yeah. Like at first we were merch. like, wow, we couldn't get in. We couldn't get in. So we, we did actually get t-shirts and stuff like that at the end of the day, but. 
you know, stuff got sold out. So they did do a pre-order over the weekend. So lots of people could order. Um, I can't think of anything I didn't love. They even had food trucks in the parking lot. And I had the best. It was a Korean cheese dog or something. Mm -hmm. It was a gigantic mozzarella stick that was kind of like tempura fried. And then a spicy mayo. Oh. I had no idea what it was before I ordered it. It was the shortest line. So I said, let's go right. there. It's like, where do we not have mm -hmm. to stand up? Mm -hmm. Love, right? Did you like it? Oh. Hot, I, hot deep fried cheese. Yes, I would go to that, whether it was a long lineup or not. Oh, now. it was phenomenal. Yeah. And there was like a fried chicken truck that looked really good. And there was something else. Um, <clears throat> it was phenomenal. It was wonderful. I can't, you sort of leave on a little bit of a high where you've been somewhere wonderful and got to meet people and say hello to people that watch yeah us here yeah. and that is that is it for that is it. next year so it is fun. the weekend of august 9th is it yes okay she had said a weekend of august 9th okay. so mark your calendar and i know they're changing the venue size but this airplane hanger was awesome mm -hmm. and it was it had the giant doors at either end which were both open and i felt like there was like a breeze i wasn't some places can be scorchingly like Mm -hmm. You know, you feel a little yeah. oppressively heat, hot and sweaty. This felt awesome. So good. Yes, there were seats inside. There were picnic tables outside. Yeah. Next year, it is... And it was not crowded like where you're no. talking, you can't move. No. It is at a bigger facility, very close to hotels next year. It's going to be um They're growing. Great. They're new. They're growing. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, I thought it was perfect. And thrilled to go like it was just a treat do you know here. i was kind of i would go again in a heartbeat to yeah. next year i was kind of thinking it was going to be smallish i don't know why i was picturing smallish being the first year and it wasn't huge it was perfect it gave us knit city vibes knit yeah. city vancouver vibes which is probably part of the reason that we feel like that we loved it so much mm -hmm. Right, we've been to things like Stitches West, where you can't even see the other side of the venue, and that's you a could, lot. Yeah, and that's never our favorite because then it does get super big and crowded. It's awesome mm -hmm. to go to; it's just different. Um, so this was wonderful mm -hmm. in all ways, mm -hmm. don't you think? Oh, I just feel so like I'm good. gushing. I don't know what else to say. We it had a ball. So good. We had a ball. We loved the area. Yeah. Um, and yes, the vendors. I, I I couldn't say a thing that I wish would have been different, except the merch booth strong, smaller line. But I'm thrilled that they were so busy, right? <laughs> yes. Listen, I love my sweatshirt, you guys. I, I've been wearing my T-shirt. I cut. I, I had cropped it on. my sweatshirt. Did you? Oh, it's so good. Okay, you know where I got that? It was Sarah from the yes. Lamb and Kids? So good. I I used to not enjoy a sweatshirt, and let me tell you now, was, they're my favorite. Yes, it was so good. Yeah, love it. Jody, blah blah blah. Okay, do you want to talk about what I'm wearing? Let's talk about. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, so it's Darlene, gorgeous. who is a fellow Albertan, I think it's Didsbury, but I might be getting that wrong. She is um, one of uh, this, us, the sample knitters that um, knits for Frankie Gray Fiber. So this is in Frankie Gray Fiber. This is the Miserina, fingering held with mohair, blushing bride. And denim. I need a full view. Okay. Because when I saw this, I have knit this sweater twice. Right. I now want one with mohair because obviously. And I love it. It's cropped. This is to the pattern. This it's is short to the pattern. Sleeved. It is cropped. Yeah. There are two options. And I never, I've never knit this option where you can do eyelets. Yeah. There's also, so the one that I did was the little two pearl bumps. Let me tell you. I am totally knitting this again. So Darlene dropped this off because her and her husband come into town. She's retired um, for an appointment. So I got to meet her, which was amazing. And she's kind of like, she was wearing a super simple summer sweater. Beautiful. She's See? like, I'm not a confident knitter. And what? I said to her, I've had a lot of samples made and I only have a handful of sample knitters that are kind of like handpicked. Right. And... You were a beautiful knitter. But Listen, look. You showed up in this and I was like, look at I it. I want that. I know. Okay, you guys. If you're going to knit this sweater to pattern, it is the speediest thing 
it's so speedy. Yeah. And it's at a pretty um, loose gauge for fingering weight yarn, which is how it was designed. It was a summer type pattern, um, sort of in a merino linen. This is yeah. part of Caitlin Hunter's Italy collection. Mm -hmm. So when you knit it with just fingering weight yarn, it's loose and open, but you've, she's held a mohair here, which gives you a little bit tighter gauge. You can still get gauge with that because it's like 20 stitches or something. Yeah. Um, so the fingering and mohair, I feel like lots of people can still get that gauge. And it's not too tight, no. the gauge. No, it's still a really nice fabric. Yes. But I love it so much. I love the little bits of everything. The little bit of lace, the little really bit of cable. Pretty. And <gasps> to me, that color work was so much fun. I'm not kidding you. I'm knitting a third. I'm knitting a third. It's so good. The mohair's it. It's so good. I mean, I'm having a hot flash right now, but it's so good. Like, what? What is with that? Just this There little... are so many patterns out there. Why would I want to do the same one again? Oh, but we've talked about that before where it will be a totally different looking sweat. Like, you have this. Yeah. It looks 100% different than I, yours. The two that I've knit look totally different. Yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah. You know, here's what I'm thinking. Tell me. Here's what I'm thinking. Hold on. Black. Yes. Black. Fingering Actually, and mohair black. I have not decided on that yet, but I, maybe something like a, like a speckled um, creamy gray. Yes. Something neutral, but like, or even what like about cream, cream. Or even cream. That was actually my second choice to this. Yeah. Cream. Like, you can't get a more classic black and cream. Okay. Um, Beach girl. Oh, Darlene's here. Darlene. Oh, no way. Let me tell you, your knitting is stunning. Her tension. Okay, I have to wonder about that. Is this, good morning, Jill. Good Miss morning, Knitterella, Jill. Miss Knitterella, North Bay Fiber. Um, what was I going to say? Hot flash. No, no. When someone says, oh, I'm not a confident knitter, I wonder, is that because there's not people that have appreciate your knitting like do yeah. you not go to a knit night do you not have friends that knit we will be that for you yeah listen this is phenomenal it has inspired me to want to make it again she was a doll i said next time you're around if you come well she said maybe she'll come to an edmonton or local i event. said come we'll knit yeah anyway yeah her your knitting is to be Rest assured, you're a beautiful knitter. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And, you know, the thing that we love and get so much joy from, you know, I hope we feel good about good about it, too. Right? Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay. Um, Did everyone see Caitlin Hunter came out with the... Yes. Everyone's knitting this right now. It's that beautiful... Um, Alpine Bloom. The sweater. Yeah. She just came out with a... The hat's amazing. Mm -hmm. They're both amazing. Here's the thing. I cast on the hat. It's so slow with the smaller yarn. Don't even talk to me about slow. I have, oh, I didn't bring it. I didn't bring my tessellated vest. I'm in that, I'm in that. But I want it. That's why I'm knitting it. And yeah, I you just, gotta. I'm this far and it took eight hours. And you know what? You have tons of thicker hats. Keep at it. Yeah. Keep at it. Yeah. That's so funny. Um. I, oh, Darlene, um, you're so sweet. And yes, it fits her perfectly. Yeah. Perfect. The size is perfect. Yeah. I said to Jody, I totally need another. Mindy, one. the tessellated vest is so You guys, okay, slow. here's. I'm but not, we love it. You guys, we've seen it done and on a body. That's just like this hat for yeah. you. Yes. I, I want it so and bad. And here's the thing I'm enjoying knitting it. So my tessellated vest, which I did not bring to show Erica because too it's like, said it so slow. it's like this long. It's no. this much taller. But, oh, yes. Oh, I should have brought it because I'm in a color change now. Yeah. I did not bring it. Um, I can run up and get it. But here's the thing. It's very rhythmic and easily memorized, and I'm loving the knitting. I'm loving the knitting. I'm loving seeing the colors change. It's on a 3.5 millimeter needle for me. So, and I know they call spin cycle sport, but it feels kind of fingering weight to me, which is very close to sport. Um... It's, it's happening, but for all the hours you put in, you think, OMG, I am still just, I'm still only at like six inches, but I'll be honest, I have not been knitting it very much. I've been knitting other things. I would like to snap my fingers and have it done because I really want to wear it. But remember, it's a vest. 
well, that's why I chose it. Because I'm thinking, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm going to be able to bang this out in no time. There's no sleeves. And it's kind of cropped. But you know what, you guys? Yes, it's slow. Yeah. Yes, it's going to be worth every minute. Yeah. It's beautiful. These people that sort of like were able to just bang it out right away, I'm super jealous. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have to go get it. Do you want to share something? I'm going to go get it. I be do want to share something. Only because my colors started changing on my vest. Like I have more colors introduced. Okay, let's do that. Okay. I'm going to show um, the hat that I'm working on. Okay. Right. So um, I actually don't know. This hat might be a hat for a kit. Jody, I don't want to miss anything. Okay. <laughs> Hurry up. Um, so I've kind of combined, uh, my very first hat pattern is the Jojo hat pattern, which you guys remember, it was like, kind of like a swooping design. It's all one color was the original one. And then using this double hell, uh, DK yarn held double to make those twin stitches. So I kind of combined it and this is what I've gotten. I'm just having fun changing color yarn. Like I have just a bag with a whole bunch but I, I kind of just needed something to cast on so I can throw it in the car like I didn't need a pattern I can just do it and not have to worry about instructions so, pretty. so this is what I've gotten so far love don't you love yes, it yes Jody yes I do so it's like swoop sweeping like it's kind of like a swirly almost yeah I love that angle and you could but it's still giving you the horizontal so you've got both. I love yeah, that. Yeah, these are two in the same, like, up and down. I did, tried it st starting where um, you can see I've got two rounds with the same, and then I'm swooping over. I was just doing one round and then swooping over, and that was really pretty, too. I love it, Joe. But I kind of like the double. So much. You're so good with that. Anyway, really, so this is really amazing. This is just Frankie Gray yarn. I just have a whole bunch of ends and samples it's not just stuff. no no it's it's frankie gray yarn but i have um so much of it okay that's so funny anyway i'm having it's kind of nice this is did i have this when we were away what was i knitting on i think i was knitting on no this. you were knitting on my a sock and then i had cast this and on then and yes, started a little bit i never saw much yeah. of that so um can you do you want to share mrs brown's bags right now that you've got this bag happening oh you like guys... you've got a bag right here do you want to or is that not we can wait if you want, but I have a bag. I here. love your bags, Mrs. Brown's bags. I just noticed you had a bunch new ones. Okay, can you believe that was on the counter next to my bags, and I forgot to bring it? Oh, but Talk I'm about disorganized. Why are we both like that? I'm today? gonna quickly show it. So Joanne, who is um, has been sewing for the last several months, yeah. the bags that have been in the shop, she took it upon herself and said. I think I can do little matching pouches to little zipper bag to big zipper bags. So in our shop right now, this has got the poly waterproof bottom and it's got a matching pouch. No soon's pouch. They're both zipper bags. It's got a top handle for the big bag. I love it. It's this size. It's such a I knit a whole handle. sweater. This top. is a great yeah. my favorite size bag, Jody. And, and they're like more colors. Oh my gosh. There's only like 22 of these sets and that when they're gone, they're gone. Yeah. This is limited in and out. These, you guys are hearing about it kind of first. That's exciting. Anyway, thank you, Joanne. That they're amazing. Yeah. And I love a set. And honestly, Matchy. I feel like such a good idea for a gift. Like you can be two months, three months ahead of gift giving mm. if you know someone Just that would it love it. Because they really are. Like who knows if they're coming yeah. back. Yeah. Maybe not. Yeah. Anyway, I love it, Joanne. Thank you. Okay, um, show me your tessellated. Your this is stunning. This misarina is Thank stunning. You. So you're gonna have kits in Frankie Gray. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But you can also, if you know what size you are, we have always have our dyed to order. If you wanted to put a kit together, yeah. For this. And these really don't require a lot of yarn. No. Which is so nice if you're gonna knit it cropped, mm -hmm. right? So you can really. Mm -hmm. Get something awesome with not a lot of yarn. Yeah, perfect. It's fabulous. Yeah, I love that. Actually, this Tracy, you've knit quite a bit on this since I saw it last. It was the only thing I took when we went away. I think I don't know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I was putting a little bit onto it, and I I knit on it. I don't know a couple of hours on the weekend and and last night. Like, do you feel like you're close to like how cropped is it going to be? Like, oh, I I can be done. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to split for front and back now. Um, okay, so I am knitting the tessellated vest, which is one of Andrea Mowry's new um, Rhineback patterns. She did a drop shoulder sweater. Okay. I chose the vest. And it was fun because it was yarn from our retreat at Farmer's Daughter Fibers. And, okay, so look at that. What? I feel like lots has been knit. Okay. And lots meaning two inches. No. You're not giving yourself enough credit. Um, on the airplane, I was still in the blue. So really, I've only knit about that much. Okay. But things are starting to change, which is exciting. <sighs> One of the um, contrast colors is Spin Cycle Mississippi Marsala, which... Can be bright orange and blue, which I've had before. This is like a total muted, muted skein. So I've got two of those muted skeins. The brown, the rosy brown is Willow Creek from Farmer's Daughter Fibers in their Spinster's Daughter yarn. So this is beautiful. This is the same base as this, only undyed. That's what I'm knitting my hat in, both of those. Yeah, it's so nice, right? It's a beautiful fabric. Beautiful. But yeah, for someone that likes DK and double DK, that's thin. On 3.25 millimeter yeah. needles. Yeah. Hello, my ribbing was done on a three millimeter needle and the pattern wanted me to go smaller and I refused. I was like, I refuse. Um, so this is a rosy brown. I, I feel like I'm getting very vintagey vibes. The so good. The blue is a fuzzy yarn so this was all sort of yarn suggested in the pattern this is moondrake yarn in their fua fua base brushed cashmere i can't even i cannot even if you were to say before you started this and showed me your brown and i, I was thinking oh geez this is gonna stick out like a sore thumb like right but with the changing color of the other yarn, it just kind of softens everything. I think so too. It's so good. Which is why I was a little disappointed that my original coral yarn that I had, the Surrey, it really muted it. Like I was hoping for a little bit of a pop kind of, and I didn't choose well the first time. So this blue, as bright as it looks here, you're totally right. It just seems to all mesh really well together. Mm -hmm. So I, I am enjoying the knitting, oh. the knitting's very fun. It's just slow. Okay. It's just the knitting What's is your needles so now? easy. 3.5. Really? Yes, really. Like Oh, it's so beautiful. But it's though. very, very easy to to knit. Like as soon as you can drop it and pick it up and look and you know exactly where you were. It's a very simple um, slip stitch pattern. You've got the little floats in the back there because you're slipping some stitches. It's wonderful. And the finished object is beautiful. We saw a bunch of people wearing we them. We did. Listen, this is going to be the people that are going to New York Sheep and Wool at Rhinebeck. There's going to be a mega photo of people I bet in this you stuff. We didn't see a full sweater, but we did see a couple of vests. One I think for the vest sure. is adorable. The vest is adorable. Super adorable. So, um, and apparently... It says all sizes of this sweater need just one skein of the Fua Fua. Really? This is, yeah. Wow. This is a wow luxury wow. vest. Wow. 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 wow, wow. Um, we have more Moondrake yarn to share because we were so lucky and got to see Rochelle at Flock Fiber. Anytime we get a chance to see that lovely I human. Um, and ah! this is in my little Renninger wool pearl bag. Okay. Good to squish and travel and roll it down like a bucket. It is a good bag. It's been really, it's actually gigantic. I could knit a blanket in I this originally thing. thought, oh, that's too big for me. It's really not. The bag? Because you're right. You can just roll it down. Like and... I can knit worsted weight sweater in this thing yeah. with all the skeins you would yeah. need. It's so cute. So you can, we'll put um, a link to their Ooh, shop. Excuse and me. I'm so sorry. They have tote bags as well. And then there's um, Winnie. Like these are their sheep. This is the face of their gorgeous sheep on the farm. They just sheared their sheep. So like first step to getting their yarn of the year. Mm -hmm. Right? Very, very fun. All those uh sheep. Wouldn't you love to go? Yes. Okay. Speaking of farms and animals. Okay. We made our way to Tolt. Ooh. <laughs> We made our way to Tolt. Do you guys know it's only 35 minutes in the car from where we were downtown-ish Seattle? 
listen, I did not. I thought for some reason Tolt was considerably farther, yeah. like a couple of hours, which we thought, do we really want to drive four yeah. hours in a day? Not really. Yeah. Um, but me. when we found out it was like 30 or 40 minutes away, we had a whole day. Sunday, we decided to be tourists, to do something. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it was so fun to go to Carnation, Washington, this adorable town. And I mean, told again in a historic building, it was such a beautiful, beautiful store. It was beautiful. Walk in. It's all warm. It's it's uh, completely surrounded all by wood old, fixtures. Original wood floors yeah. is stunning. Beautiful yarn. Very homey, cozy. Yeah, very welcoming. It was lovely. We met. Um, is it Victoria? Veronica. Veronica. Mm -hmm. Veronica. We met years ago when she was. Um, oh, Rick, what was, what was that yarn company? I can see it. Don't tell me. Oh my gosh, I'm such a. I think I have it. I anyway. can see the label. Anyway, Toth, Yoth, Toth. Yoth yarn. I was Yoth like, yarn. it's kind of like told. Thank Yoth. you, Carson. Jody, good job. I could picture the label. Um, anyway, so it's again familiar faces popping up, which mm -hmm. was so fun. And yes, so nice to say hello. And um, you know, told is her shop. That's um, so cool. So we turned left to go to Tolt, but if you went right on that road, you got to a little alpaca farm. Yeah, she told us we should go. It's really yeah. nice. They do tours. Yeah. So, in fact, we had just missed the tour, and the next one was like a couple of hours. But it's very small. It's like it feels like you've just driven into somebody's personal farmyard. Farm like it's yard. not gigantic, but they have 90 alpacas. Yeah. yeah. That's a lot of animals to care for. So in this cute little shop, you could get... Different alpaca products, stuffies, mm -hmm. things that were made. Mm -hmm. But you could also buy pellets to feed the alpaca. Listen, if there's a petting zoo, we're in. Yeah. Always. Always. So we got the spiel. The loveliest lady was yeah, telling was us. Really nice. Tracy tried to get out of the speech. But I she thought was, she was done. No, she said, I'm not done. And then she was like, they can spit. Beware. And I knew that. Who We all know llamas yeah. and alpacas will spit at you. Yeah. But then she said, you know, they get competitive about wanting the food. And if they get all agitated, they're going to spit. And we we're like, ew, gross. That would be so gross. We're like, yeah, okay. Okay, got it. Bye. I'm no, going to no. go feed your alpacas. I feel like we needed five more minutes on spitting. Like for her to <laughs> I feel like she should have been highlighting. No, no, no. Spitting happens. Or giving on us. On the regular. An option to buy a plastic poncho. Right. Any like, of that. Or an umbrella. Been... Feed them from behind an umbrella. <laughs> Any of that would have been better than what happened when we went out the back. But first of all, we were left unattended. Right. At this alpaca farm. And Amber's like, I didn't think you were supposed to be feeding those ones. We were like, what? She goes, yeah, no, you weren't supposed to be feeding those ones. Like, oh. Well, I knew that. I heard her say the ones in the barn are the ones that just are on the tour. But they were but right there. There were so many of them. We thought they can't they all were hungry. have. They, they were, were hungry. hungry. So I'm feeding them. But they were, we were told they only have the bottom, bottom teeth and the big lip to, to eat. And, you know, cup your hand like this. And their little lips just, they're like velvet, like a horse's mouth. Don't start. Again. <laughs> so, and Jody's feeding them and I'm taking pictures because it's fun to have memories, right? Yeah. And. <laughs> <laughs> I turn, Tracy said. <laughs> and then I, I start feeding them. This guy was so cute. We, where's my picture? He, they had just been shorn, or what do you call that, I guess, right? Shearing the alpaca. So they were all kind of like close yeah. to the body, but this guy still had his giant puffy head. He was so cute. Yeah. And he was quite large compared to the others. Like he mm -hmm. was like a head taller than some of them. Um, what happened? I mean, his friend came over. It was exactly what the woman said. I'm feeding the way you're supposed to feed. He's eating. His little friend came over and kind of, and, and he was like, you know, screw you, guy. This is my human. And he, and he goes, the next thing you know, you're covered in grassy bits. It looked like somebody had opened a bag of grass clippings and smeared it on your shirt. No snotty. There was no like snot so it was or just liquid. A little wet. It was, yeah, it didn't, just a little wet it grass. wasn't a problem, but it was so freaking funny. I'm dying. Almost peed my pants. It was so funny. I was... I did pee my pants, actually. Oh, my gosh. It and was... then 
I'm barely catching my breath. I couldn't breathe. Could not breathe. It was so and funny. And I look over at Amber, and she gets spit in the mouth. She was like... She was bent over, and I couldn't tell if she was crying or laughing. She was distressed. She was gagging. And we were like, what's the matter? <laughs> she somehow got spat in the mouth. <laughs> Fully. This is it's... not funny. Yes, it is. It's freaking hilarious. It was funny because it wasn't us. Um, I mean, Can you I sh- mean. Okay. What do you want? The picture of um, me, of us laughing. The, the thing is, is that the unattended part, I knew something was going to, when she first said, it start, this is, this is where I knew it was going to go wrong. In the little speech before they let you loose, she said, they pick it up with their lips. <laughs> Only you would have issues with that. Okay. And then she let it, let us free with no rules or supervision. Tracy gets spit this on. This is my guy. How cute is right, he? Right before. He would like a snack. You are so freaking cute. Here's a snack. And then the next thing I know, I've got, I should have taken a picture of my shirt. It was black and just covered with lime green grass clippings. And you think your sister would provide some kind of support. No. Some, like, are you no. okay? No. You know, this is bad llama, bad alpaca. No. <laughs> That's, That's it. That's me this looking is- at Tracy being spit on. It was absolutely... Can we take, did you take a picture of Amber? No. Oh, that's Amber's shirt. She got it in her mouth and on her shirt. It really does just look like grass. Yeah. But do I want it in my mouth? Probably not. Look at this little cutie. So cute. You guys. So this was... And then Amber Cascade threw Rose her or food something? and then left. Did she? She threw the rest of her food. <laughs> well, I left the barn and went and fed. This was the ladies' pen. The girl, all the girls. Uh, I wasn't done, but that guy got not one more morsel. That was so funny. It was so good. I'm shocked I didn't get spit on. But I did pee my pants. You both got spit on and I peed my pants. It was a mess. And then we had to get back. Although we did. Oh, you show that one. Okay. After the, after. Jody's modeling the al- the alpaca wear. Actually, they had so much to that buy hat, in that tiny that little. That was so soft. Listen, if you've ever felt. Like an alpaca fleece. It is angel yeah. fluff. Mm-hmm. Anyway. If anyone's in that area. I'm taking like, oh, look at these cute little weeds in the butt. No. And then the next thing I know, I'm covered in. Thank God it wasn't like snotty stuff. There's worse things that could happen to you in a barnyard, right? Like it wasn't the end of the world, but it was hilarious. hilarious. So funny. So funny. Okay. Knitting? Yeah. Do you think I should do a How sw- about this? I got a whip. We got a whip. We got a giveaway. Oh, see, I'm. I could put mine on, but should I put it on? Yeah. Okay, I'm putting it on. Give me half a second. So, Kirsten, who which I was spelling her name wrong. I said to Tracy, "Are you sure it's Kirsten? Because it's spelled." I actually Kristen. double checked when we met. No, you are right, and I didn't disagree. But I'm like, oh, she spells it differently than I would have thought. Because it's spelt so we Kristen. Met in Montana. It's actually Kirsten. <gasps> what do you think? Oh my god, it's so good. Ah! Are you kidding me? Ignore the one sleeve not done. <laughs> ah! This is so good. I I I didn't Kirsten, who is a fellow friend knitter and yeah. who lives in Edmonton, yeah. knit this sample for me. This is unblocked, so it will sit a little bit different once you block it. I've been, this is the project that I would like to be working on 24 seven to finish because it's so much fun to knit. Mm. So Monday, Hohi came out with Ready for Fall 2 and Mm. her, it looks like her theme was fluffy, soft, Mm -hmm, everything's mm -hmm. made with surrey or mohair and it's a hat and a shawl and socks and a pullover and a cardigan. So, I mean, every single one of them. Beautiful. I'm dying to make that cardigan, dying. But I was um, knitting this. I want to say, I don't know, test knitting, preview knitting, loving knitting. So lucky to do that. And Jody gave me yarn from Frankie Gray. And it only took me about four days to figure out which colors I wanted. You know what? Putting four together is no joke. You have to think about the colors that yeah. are next to each other. Yeah. 
Yeah. And I feel like it, they all have to play well together. Do you want it to be really bold mm -hmm. contrast? Do you want it to be, you know, so it did take a little bit of go. I can't love mine anymore. You guys, it feels like you're wearing a cloud. Literally. Double mohair is... And I don't want the people that don't like fluffy yarn to feel that this is something they'll never knit because it's like a DK weight gauge. Mm -hmm. You can do this in DK weight yarn. You could you could probably Surrey? do it in fingering in mohair, fingering in Surrey. Double uh, Surrey? Wool. Just wool. Yeah. DK weight wool, if you love it. It is an all over color work design yeah. called Instant Crush. And mm -hmm. it's part of the... Ready for Fall 2 collection. Mm -hmm. So, holy shoot, it's hot. Um, I finished one sleeve, and I've been using Frankie Gray Fibers Mohair in these colors. This is Denim, Smoke Show, Whisper, and Chestnut. And so far, these are my first skeins of the contrast colors. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely, I've already wound my next chestnut. This is my second Do you think, thing. though? I'm interested to see how how this works out. I'm, it's for sure yarn chicken to think, but I, I for sure needed another skein of this one, obviously. Yeah. Um, we'll see what happens. We'll see how far I get. I can't imagine you'll need more And I'm than knitting these. size, I think it's called seven. I'll, I haven't made my true project page mm -hmm. yet. There's, there is, I don't have all my notes, but I do have some photos up. Um, so you can go check that out if you want, but I'm not finished finished. So yeah. I can't really give you all what I use for yeah. yarn, but keep in mind, I'm short. So my sleeves are shorter. My body's probably shorter. Yeah. So I'm sure you need two skeins of all these contrast colors. Cause Hohe, all her stuff. And you don't want to have yarn chicken, right? Like, who wants yarn chicken? That would be the so worst. Because then you're making that. decisions to make something shorter than it right. would be had you right. had more. And yeah. so this is this pattern is all charted and all color work, um, raglan style design. It was so much fun to knit. I was a little bit nervous all over color work. I've never done that. Um, there is no blocking out really mistakes. I don't think. Like you not really, with mohair because mohair does not give. There's no stretch. It's no. not like wool where it has memory no. and stuff. So if you're someone that is notoriously, like I'm never a swatcher, I feel like your time is well spent doing a swatch, getting your gauge this time. Because mm -hmm. there's no real blocking it out. Mm -hmm. Yes, no. That that core, that core, mohair and silk, Yeah, it's not going to give you That's any the give. beauty of silk. Like it doesn't yeah. stretch, yeah. right? So oh, I can't wait. Honestly, if I were home this weekend, the sweater would be finished. Yeah. Like, I don't have much to knit, Jode. No. And mine ended up being the exact color work of the body to the sleeve. Like, I finished my color work oh, exactly. Oh, that's interesting. So, Love and that. Hohe has um, charted all these extra rows. Like, if you're long in the body or long sleeves, the charts go... There's like 40 more rows I could have made. Yeah. So um, she. Tell me about yours. It's, it's so, so funny so because. It's beautiful. For the. Because well, we have. We talked to Hohe. Anyway, through the text, she's like, I'm just going to put this together and throw it out to test knitters. And it's what like, do you mean? was there any mistakes in her pattern, basically? Oh, gosh. I mean. She's so genius. Listen, she's totally a genius. She's totally so a pro. Um, I, I would I love. I love the way she writes her. I feel like her patterns are so easy to follow. Yeah. Um, she's not looking for any complicated ways to do things. Like she's doing it, but step by step. And you're going to just follow those steps. And you're doing something maybe you've never done before, but she's got it for mm -hmm. you. And I felt like other than, you know, so I actually had people message me. I'm nervous about the all over color work. Were you catching a lot of floats? I didn't catch one float. No. Not one. It's, and maybe that's a little bit, here, I'm going to change out of this and then I'll show you my float. There are, there are two thoughts in this world of knitting color work. There are some designers and color work knitters that never catch a float. Yeah. And said that just knit and it'll be just totally fine. And then there are some that always catch floats and have a steadfast rule on if it's more than five stitches or if it's more than an inch, I catch a float. Yeah. So listen, if there are ones that say, don't do it, I won't do it. I mean, I hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the butt, 
But my for my size, my color work was about eight stitches wide at the widest. And so this is what the floats look like. Just Probably slightly here. longer than you would normally leave think, but I didn't care. And I also don't think it's going to cause any problems. No, I agree. So, so Frankie Gray has, like we talked about before, I was going to kit these. So we have 11. That's a lot. Kit choices. This one's called Tracy's Choice. Ah. And in the description, you guys, it tells you which one is the main color because you're getting more of the main color on every single size right. except one size one and if you if you want to make your own color choice it's all of our colors are dyed to order mohair come on yeah i can't even you know lots of times i think to myself i wish i changed a certain color out or whatever i am beyond thrilled with the way this turned out this one was That's knit so by dope. melissa and you guys i don't know if you can tell but i wanted a really low contrast um, it's so pretty. This is there. Whisper, and then you can see Parchment in there too. But it's the softest pink, you guys. Oh, it's, it's gorgeous. So beautiful. I actually think a very, very low contrast with like maybe two paler grays or something yeah. with those two. And yeah. then that would be beautiful. You know, not everybody loves a big pop of right. color. Um, these are a few of the kits that we have in the shop. This one here, Jody, I feel like could be. Yes. A base kit. And then you pick And then your whatever color. this color is, if your favorite color is purple or gold or orange or red or whatever, I feel like this is the one with just a pop, a neutral with a pop. I totally agree. And Charcoal is the main color on this one. Okay. So, and uh, that's parchment and, and then mouse gray. So I would, this if I were knit this to knit this again, this is what I would do. So one pop of color. I think, I mean, just yeah. for fun. Yeah. Only because I just love the way it looks so much. Yeah. Love it. And... It, you're right. It is hard to put four colors together. And I feel like this is, um, like, knock it out of the park. Just pick, and pick the color you like. Maybe you like a lower contrast. Maybe you like black. Yeah. So there's no pops or of color. Or navy. Yeah. Yeah. Love. Um, it's, it's amazing the possibilities you can do for this. So here's a couple more. <gasps> so fun. This is so fun. Isn't this that? makes me think of, like, an Icelandic sweater. You know, where it's so bright yeah. and so fun. I actually love this one, Jody. That's got Lucky Lavender and I Ochre. Like, yes, I love this because it's easy and I know it's going to look great. But these colorful ones, I know. come on. I love them all. Look at this one. Yeah, I love that. Gray. That's really pretty. Cream, indigo, and Mayflower. And then this one. Oh, wow. Lots of pinks and purples. And then you guys remember Tracy's first choice? Yeah, yeah. I also have kitted that. So there's 11. If you guys are looking. I could do that one too. Frankie Gray Fiber has 11 choices of kits. That's like a very Barbie forward. So yes. is this though. So is this. This has some of my favorite colors in it. So it's so much fun to knit. Yeah. Um, and we're actually going to do a giveaway. I was just so excited. We were so excited. Frankie Gray did all these kits and I got to knit it and, um, we just thought, wouldn't it be great to be able to do a giveaway? And Hohi was so generous. So she's going to give an e a copy of her ebook with all these patterns in it. And then she said, I'm sending you a package too for the giveaway. So they have just put out, and you can buy these yourself tomorrow at Hohi & Co. Their adorable pumpkin spice t-shirt for their fall. Pumpkin spice and everything knit. Ah, oh, so, so cute. cute. So you'll get a, a t-shirt, Hohe's Fall Cal. They are gearing up for that. There's bags in the Hohe & Co. shop. You're going to be able to buy these, but this will be part of the giveaway. That's so cute. Um, I think for the next two weeks, all of her patterns are 25% off their, her individual patterns. Right. They're geared because starting September 1st is her Hohe Cal. Huge knit -along. Annual Hohe Cal. It's a big thing. So you, mm -hmm. if you want to join that, go to Hohe's Ravelry Group. That's what we will link. All of the information's in there. But she also sent this, what? Santa Cruz tote. I have this bag, you guys. This it's amazing. bag. Yeah. Blue suede, na dark, dark, navy blue suede. And you will get the t-shirt and the bag, mm -hmm. the Santa Cruz, and the e copy of oh. the book. So I think we're going to do this giveaway this time on Instagram. Okay. Um, so that 
I'm sure everybody's following Hohe and Hohe and Co, but that's a nice thing to have when you do it on Instagram and make sure that everybody's following. Um, and we'll think of some kind of question. I don't know what. We'll have to make a picture and put it up. So that'll have to be today. And maybe we'll keep it up for a week and then do the giveaway. Are there people waiting for pumpkin spice latte? Listen, I, where did I see something pumpkin spice already? It seems yeah. a bit early, but it's not apparently. Mm -hmm. Um, Carson says you can register for the Hohe Fall Cal until the 30th of August. Oh. And then it starts. So all, what that means, I think, is you go to their Ravelry group and you put your name in, in the sweater, the cardigan one, and say, I want in it like a cloud. Or you go to the shawl one or whatever. So it's, it's not difficult. It's just you have to get your name in there. Mm -hmm. And then... There's That's always a fun cow. Tons of yeah. moderators. Lots of prizes. Lots of prizes. Yeah. Um, the bag is unbelievable. I love the project. Every year, Ho, he's been doing these um, fall knit along little canvas bags with new illustrations every year. Yeah, love that. So cute. And it's orange for autumn. It's so pretty. Um, Thank you, Ho, he, for everything. Do you have more knitting? Uh, yeah. Okay. You guys, yes. Good. One more. Do you want to show something? Well, Do you have more sure. Than, you have more than Do you want, to show, you want to see my new hat? Yes. Okay. Is it a pattern? Yeah. <gasps> so you oh, and I'm, al shoot. I'm allowed to share this. This is our collaboration for, um, if you guys have been around the last few years, we've been part of a breast cancer fundraiser in October with Thread and Maple and Louie and Lola Yarns. And we were absolutely part of that again this year. Um, so I did receive yarn to make a little pattern for the kit. And the yarn is unbelievable. I think you've knit with this type of base before, but I haven't. What is it? Merino Yak Silk. It's, I don't yeah. know what I'd knit with Yeah, that. I think for that um, Nomadic Knits magazine, that hat, remember? <gasps> It's so drapey and I so about beautiful. That. These don't have names. This was, this is honestly, we're still working really hard on this project, but this is Karina of Lou. That's Lu so wearable. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. Yes. That speckle is stunning. Oh yeah. And I do think the base is, is that just the undyed base and then she speckled it? I don't know. It's quite a, I think when you add yak, it's maybe, <gasps> maybe she's dyed it. I haven't actually asked. So I made a beanie. Are you for that. serious? This is I don't know what it's called. It's I would, called Wow. I would love name suggestions. It's really <gasps> um Tracy. Uh, oh you guys. It feels amazing. The yarn's so drapey okay. and immediately, you guys, when there's that much ribbing throughout the whole entire hat, that's gonna hug your head. Yeah. It's, it's very, it's not a lot. And the little eyelet design is so intuitive and simple. Um, and I think it looks really great as a beanie. I love it. I love it. I'm so happy with it. It's so good. Thank You've you. have been busy. I have been busy, but in a great way, like all that really fun way. So I can't really mm. share anything else about it, but I do want to share that that is coming up oh, and we're working out. hard on it. Look at it. It's guys. always fun to like, you know, figure out the decreases and What's stuff that? like that. Yeah, that That's was spectacular. Just, it was. Thank you. It's it's really. I love it. Okay, I don't know. If and I it's can wear very this simple. Oh, Jody, that's a hot one. This sweater's cozy. That's a hot one. It's cozy. I mean, but that's another thing. Maybe, you know, maybe people want to knit it in more climate appropriate stuff okay. for where they I'm live. I'm going to step out of the frame and I'm going to put the next one on. Yeah. So there you go. Very simple, super simple little eyelet, little bit of ribbing and Bob's your uncle. Got a hat. Okay. I just wanted it to be. Isn't a hat so fun to knit? It is. And when I'm, I don't know. I mean, I'm not a super experienced designer. So when I get these asked to do something, it's such an honor. And of course I want to do it, but I'm also, I also get really in my head. So I wanted it to be pretty. I feel like with a breast cancer fundraiser, we're probably, maybe it's going to be, someone is going to wear it because they have no yes. hair at the yes. moment. Or maybe some, I don't know. I wanted it to be. Um, You're knitting it for someone who is going through a struggle with yeah, breast cancer. Yeah, I really, 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 yes. That was part of it for me. I want it to be 
something as a knitter, you're knitting it. Tracy, it's spectacular. Anyway. Thanks, Joe. I like it so a lot. I'm so good. pleased with it, and I hope knitters like it. And you the know what? The yarn I, is unbelievable. I think people love knitting hats, and I think people love knitting socks. So I think either way, yeah. when you're in that, like, I think it's amazing. Your hat that you chose to it's do this year fun. is amazing. It's very fun. I'm very, I love being involved in it. You know, we all, we, mm -hmm. we really, it's very special for us. Yeah. So, and... You know, stay tuned. If you were around last year, it was so cool. You guys, it was a great fundraiser. And we're going to beat Australia again. <laughs> we're going to raise more money than them. We're doing it. We're absolutely I hope it. so. On another note. Jody, this I, is my next cast on. I'm so. I also want to like just transition very quickly to acknowledge oh. the terrible wildfires in oh, the know, world Jody. today. I know. Our. Um, Alberta has been burning since very, very early spring and has not it's let up. It's been the worst. It's the in, most on devastating yeah. on record the season. And now with Maui, listen. listen there's fires all over the world. Greece, Sicily. Like, yeah. it seems like every time you turn something on, the devastation. Mm -hmm. I mean, fire is, how do you stop? It, it is displaced and destroyed for so many families. Mm. And Maui. We grew up, we were lucky enough every couple of years um, to go to Maui and Kanapali and Lahaina was our stomping ground. So we have been there and spent time there and have a connection there. And so, had a chance to, you know, you get to feel of the lovely people yeah, always. Yeah. And the history and the culture that is so prevalent there. Mm -hmm. You know, when we saw that it was Front Street burning, I kept thinking, you know, there's that little church and the banyan tree and that mm -hmm. little shopping center that was, you know, it was all made of wood. It was just all these yeah. memories and all these places. Where am I going to buy my people. pearls? Yeah. So we are including in our show notes this year, if at all you feel inclined, yes. we have a link for the Red Cross for Canadian wildfires or spe more specifically, um, there's also a second link for support for the fires in Maui. Um, if you're at all inclined or can share the link or support financially, we encourage you to do so. Every yeah. five or ten dollar donation goes a long way. It really does when we all when we all chip. Yeah. Yes, it has been horrific. Yeah. Yeah. Yellowknife had evacu evacuation orders last night, and yeah. they basically have to get out by plane. Yeah. The city wow. it's going to be it's going to be gone. Wow. Yeah. What? So, yes. They're evacuating. Well, it's going to be devastation throughout the whole thing. So um yeah, we're we're we do what we can from our little end and yes. donation yes. is um how we can help right now because yes. people are losing everything. So, and can't imagine, you know, it's going to take a long time mm -hmm. to get back in your Mm -hmm. home and things that are you know if you can get out with your with yourself that's amazing but so many people weren't able to yeah god god it's just devastating okay so we wanted to make sure we we acknowledge that and let you know that we have links a little available. goes a long way that's little a goes great, a long way that is a great yeah thing so this yeah um, my knitter friend Sheila has knit this for me she's knit three sweaters she is a stunning knitter um, and this is no, nothing short of stunning again. Talk to me about, this is Hohe's new sweater. It's, is it Solaris? Solare. Solare yeah. sweater. And it's another, who knew this was going to be so Hohe heavy? Did it come out? Yes. Right. Um, did it come out? So this came out fairly recently. It was something she designed with a Mayak retreat yes. when she was in Italy with the knitters there. Um, and it is inspired by the Italian sun, I believe, like the rays of the sun. It As soon as I saw it, I knew I wanted to knit it. It's a very deep um, yoke. Um, the, the beautiful ribbing increases here. The beautiful cables. I love that cable. This is knit in DK Health Double. Oh, no, really? DK and Mohair. Okay. This is Frankie Gray Fibers and the Chick Flick colorway. And... I can't tell you how cozy it is to wear. It's stunning. Stunning. The color is like off the chart. DK and mohair, huh? DK and mohair. Because I believe, 
Just a minute. Someone help me. What is the... Um... Well, it's Knit and Mayak Baby Medium, which is worsted. That's what it is. So I went with DK yeah. and Mohair It was held designed together. in Mayak so Baby So DK Medium. and Mohair is probably a touch, you know, tipping your toe into Erin. It doesn't have but to. It depends on the you, knitter. Yeah, but you can certainly get gauge. I'll tell you the gauge. I want to say it's like 20 stitches is the gauge. Um, it is cozy, you guys. DK and Mohair feels lovely. 19 stitches and 28 rows. Um, Solera. Solare. Solare. It is a hohi sweater. It was just out in June. She is knitting. Yeah. So the yoke is cables and a ribbing with um, the increases. How beautiful is that? Do you know what this would be beautiful in? Brooklyn Tweed Shelter. Oh, for sure. That's a worsted yeah, yarn. For sure. That's a woolen spun, so it would be light as air. So is that what they call Do they call baby mac, yeah, mac medium worsted? They do call it worsted. But gorgeous. One day I'm going to knit a sweater in that. Mm -hmm. And you think, oh, yak, 100% yak. It's going to be super pilly and stretching out and stuff like that. And from what I've heard, that is not the experience. And yeah. I've knit shawl with it. And I tell you, this thing is old and I don't treat it very well. I roll it up and I, I have never taken pills off of it. And it is not so, it doesn't feel like cashmere or something like that where you think, oh, it's going to be out of shape and all of that other stuff. It's not like that. Yeah. I don't know what the magic is, but it is beautiful sweater yarn. Yeah. And it shows the cables like nobody's business. But Jody, I love with the mohair. It was just me thinking, well, you could you could get gauge with DK, no problem. If you're, I think, going one way or the other with the designated yarn. But I thought you could add a touch of mohair. Totally. And it'd be cozy. And it's beautifully. The gauge is not too tight. I feel like with cables, you don't want a loosey loose gauge. So whatever this is, right. is making your cables pop and the yeah. ribbing pop. She's a beautiful knitter. No she loves kidding. doing cables. Really? Yeah. She's knit a turtle dove for me, and she also knit my Deep Woods V in really? the Tweety. Yeah, she's a beautiful knitter. Beautiful. You're going to have a awesome wardrobe. Right. Wardrobe. When we end up being... Um, Are you making a Knit City sweater project? Sweater? No. Knit City soon. Yes. Knit City is around, you guys. We, we Knit gotta, City Vancouver is September. book our trip. Yes, we do. Yeah. Yes, we do. Um, yes. So we hope to see lots of you guys there. Yeah, Knit City is coming very quick. It's, again, one that we... I've kind of always wanted a cream sweater, too. That one that Hohe knits, very beautiful. In cream. Like, do you think... Oh, I just worry I'm going to get stuff all over it. So pretty um, in the cream. Frankie Gray Fiber is doing another collab <gasps> with Crafty Jackalope. Yes. And Yarn Bowler. Yay. So we're doing... Um, I haven't even seen that yet. I want to knit that hat three. Jody, that's so cool. And I'll just tell you the color inspiration I was sent is different. Very, very different than any previous year. Really? And it's... Awesome. I want to see. I'll be able to s sneak it f closer to. We'll we'll just start teasing it. It's real good. Well, I mean, it's coming before you know it. So yes, I can't wait. Yeah, yeah. Very it's a excited good one to travel a little bit more. Yeah. I love Vancouver. Love Knit City. Okay, you guys, yokes. I should. We shouldn't be telling everybody because then we're gonna go and we have to wait too long in line. <laughs> yokes for brunch in Vancouver. So good. Pretty delicious. The like French phenomenally The delicious. French toast, it's made with panko crumbs, and it comes with a lemon curd. Yeah, it's for those sweet lovers. It's you ridiculous. Like those sweet, yeah, the, everything on the menu is amazing. They're homemade hash brown patties yeah. with their homemade ketchup. Yeah. yeah, everything. Everything we've ever had there was off the charts amazing. Six kinds of Eggs Benedict, which I always get one of those. Mm -hmm. yeah. French toast. Yeah. They have everything. They have, it's, it's a really beautiful menu. Yeah. Yeah. Homemade Amazing hot chocolate. Amazing coffee. Their coffee's delicious. 
so yeah. good. Very oh. lucky. Do you have any more yarn knitting? Yes, you do. Um, I see socks. I just have one. I just cranked a tube yesterday, so it's really quick. But like I said, we're going away for a few days, and I have a birthday coming up soon. And I thought, okay, well, let's just let's do this. So I cranked this beautiful tube right here. Tracy, it's so good. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. You know what this is? Do you weigh it? Uh, I didn't. I I didn't. Just kind of eyeballed it. I or did. Do you do row count? I yes for the length. Actually, one I did five five longer. I was gonna say, look how good you are. Um. No, I do count. One stripe longer. I did five extra rows on one. Um, this is Gage Dye Works in the color Siren Song. God, it's good. So, I mean, always with my birthday socks and stuff, I always had to Gage Dye Works. It had this very, very dark gray as a built-in mini skein. So there was a giant part of the ball that was dyed gray. So that's the mini. You wind that off. Will you do off. the toe? Yeah. And then the heel and the stripes. Probably. <gasps> Aren't those going to so be nice good. socks? These, her base, what's her base? It's like an eight ply. It's so nice. I don't know if it's eight ply. Don't quote me on that. I don't know what it is, but her sock base is amazing. They call it Merino Twist Fingering. And it, it you guys, lasts. It's so beautiful. It lasts amazingly well. It holds up so well for socks. It's a and really dies high so twist, beautifully. you guys. Yeah. <gasps> That's a beautiful base. Yeah. Is it BFL? No, it's a merino nylon. 80% oh. superwash merino, 20% nylon. It's stunning. It really is. is it's silk? one of my favorite. <laughs> is there, is is there, there silk? Is there cotton? You guys. If there's alpaca, I'm boycotting it. They're dead to us. Actually, it was one of the funniest things that had happened in the longest time. Listen, we thought, you know what? Um... We're never knitting with alpaca again. They're assholes. Just kidding. They are. No, not kidding no. about that. <laughs> I had a lovely experience. I also feel like I can kind of relate to the alpaca. He just wanted the yeah. snack. I was. He was. If those were cheesies, and someone was just feeding them over to me over a fence, I might have been spitting too. <laughs> I would totally spit to give me Yo, more. Yo, get out of my way. If it's between me and you getting the cheesy, I'd spit all day. <laughs> Good to know. All day. Um, but I did kind of un understand where it was coming from. If it was gobby, spitty, I would have been more traumatized. It was just grass. It was like alfalfa. Whatever these nuggets were, that's what it was. It didn't really bother me. It was hilarious. I was pushing the ones away that were trying to get forward. Maybe that's why I didn't get spit right. on. I don't know. When she told me they can't bite you, I'm all in. Right. Yeah. Even though they had like gnarly little. Yeah. Anyway, it was hilarious. Nuggets bits. Yeah. That's so good. Totally. It looked like um, hamster food, kind of. Like, it was... You know what we got in the mail? No. Okay, let me show you this. So, I ordered these for us. Oh, that's so cute, Jody. That's, that's so for you. cute. This is for me. Hang on. <gasps> oh, my um, gosh. It's quilted. That's so Fiber nice. Hustle makes the most amazing bags. Um... And I thought, I'm ordering these for you and I. And that's so, thank you. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. But what, and look, it's got a, you guys, snap. What, you guys, it's like Holy, quilted. Holy, look at that. What they sent, and I think we should do giveaways. They sent their giant ones. Wow. Can we, maybe we should keep the pink one for October. Do it. I'm collecting pink I've reached out to Adele already. Okay. I'm, anyway, I've we'll started we'll that too. I can talk that. to you about yeah. that. Okay. okay. First of all, okay. When I started watching them, the quilting part was like a big deal. So these are quilted by an amazing quilter. So is this his like design? I feel like this these is These are his Chip's design. designs. Um, the Chippo XL are these baskets. Chip what? Chip XL okay. baskets. Um, <gasps> this is a beautiful bag. He said they pro tip. Um, everyone loves a good fluffing, so fluff it up. Totally. Beautiful. Well, that's listen. It is. Look at the quilting on there, you guys, and look at the squish factor. Good thinking, you guys. They have these in the shop, fiberhustle.com, you guys. And look at the. This is one of those things that could be. Like your sit on the, I mean, you can take yes. it with you anywhere you go because you can carry it and, 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 and work. snaps to open to be like a. This would be the best thing on the couch 
sort of in the living room and you can tuck it, you know, away when you're not working, but it would be big enough for anything. Holy moly. Yeah. I love it. And then. This teeny weeny. I can't even. Thank I you. Know. It's so cute. Aaron or Fibel Hustle, Perfect I think for Aaron socks. is dyeing yarn. But nevertheless, it's wow. Fiber Hustle label. And they're doing like um, record label oh, inspired. And I believe this is Boston. Oh, yeah. Boston. Colorway Boston. Yeah. So this is the colorway for, from the Aaron's album cover. Included are a couple of Aaron's popular album inspired colorways Boston. Knitters are going nuts for it. I love it. Look at that. So That's a really how about fun this variegated. For a giveaway? Gorgeous. Wow. Okay. You guys. Yes. How much that do will I keep love for breast cancer? How much do I love this? Thank you so much for your generosity. We do have two knit alongs ending. Yeah. Right away. Yeah. Our ready sweater go and our hot granny square summer. Are there yeah. over at the end of August? So you don't have to register to join. You can just be doing these things at home. Mm -hmm. Go to the finished object. I'll go to there today and make sure everything's got a finished object thread. But we will draw for prizes and we will absolutely find new homes yeah. for, come on. I can't, I don't even know which one I would pick if I was shopping. I know. I just thought they were adorable. And then they said this. I love plaid. Yeah. I love so fiberhustle.com. These are two amazing makers. We met them very quickly in Rhinebeck. Why didn't we see them in Seattle? That's where they were from. Or. Yeah. Yes, we did meet in, in Rhinebeck. But, but I thought we were going to see them in We Seattle. were getting so many good tips from them about Seattle. I assumed they lived there. So. Maybe Sunday. We didn't go maybe, Sunday. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway. Thank you, Aaron and Chip. That's actually such a Treasure. great tip, too. If you were someone that really needs to avoid crowds and can't handle, um, I don't know what's going on. Um, the Sunday of a fiber festival usually is quieter, what, which is what we've experienced. I don't know for sure. I can't say, but I know Rhinebeck for sure. You know, the next time we go to Rhinebeck, I feel like it'll be a Sunday. Yes. Saturday was amazing, but yes. also very crowded. Um. I, I feel like, you know, if that's what's keeping you from going to these places, I hope it doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. So I am done with my knitting. So I've just got stuff to show you. I've got some new patterns to share. Okay. I've got some yarn to share. Me too. Let me just... Um, Let me re-gloss. You guys, this is a really nice gloss. This is Rare Beauty, and it's kind of like um, almost a sheer... With a barely speckled. It's better than the oil thing that I bought from them. The oil lip, whatever. This one's called Nearly Petal. And it's called a balm. But boy, is it nice. I, I love Do you know, Rare Beauty. I I've actually, been buying lots of Rare Beauty. I actually Beauty. didn't hate the lip oil either. But boy, there is not much from Rare Beauty that I would not buy again. I, oh no, I've loved everything. I'm really liking. Listen, if you want to do a little five minute um thing on them sometime i have so much stuff we should yeah i love it I've like got, i use oh. their eyelid primer every day i use the blush every day the liquid blush between love rare it. beauty and jones road and like my regular drugstore stuff that's that's it that's... i would like to become a jones road ambassador oh <gasps> i'm old i'm wrinkly do they have <laughs> I've got i'm au natural troublesome skin um no but i just feel like they're so great at celebrating actual Eight women age at all ages, mm -hmm. right? So I love that. Okay, uh, hot granny square summer. This is one of the things I thought to myself, I'm totally gonna make that. When I learned to make a granny square, I want this blanket. And for a while, this is made of Lion Brand yarn, and it was sold out in the blue for a long time. And that week, that you, when you were away, and I was crocheting granny squares for a week, this was one of the things I was like, well, clearly now I know how to do this. Yeah. Yes. So I watched the video before I learned a granny square and I was like, I don't get it. Then I learned to do a granny square and I watched the video and I was like, well, duh, obviously this is so not difficult. So. You bought a kit. I got some email from Lion Brand saying they were having a You did? They were having a sale. Uh, then you have to buy it. I thought this would be a really good prize for our granny square. Middle Tracy, off. yes, it will. So the daisies are these two colors. Yes. And I chose kind of a, I don't know what it's called. I would almost say 
pink, bl- a blushy pink. It's kind of a, a neutral, beige It's called Bellini. So when you go to the kit on the Lion Brand website, you can choose whatever colors you want. This is the Hue and Me yarn by Two of Wands, which came out a while ago. Yeah. See, look, on here, they're even showing. That's what this color goes with, I guess. I'm a big fan of Two of Wands. So... Maybe not. They're not showing it. But those colors do look amazing together. This is a 80% acrylic, 20% wool, totally machine washable. Yeah. Uh, it's a bulky weight, chunky wool blend. Um, and I love it. And there's tons of patterns that have been designed with this yarn. Do so I wish I could say this was sponsored or something, but it's not. We just wanted to try it ourselves. And when I got the kit, I just thought, Oh my gosh, this would be the best prize because for someone. It feels so good. It I would know, be. Don't even start with your um with any, with the acrylic talk. We've had it before. I just think knit what you knit. This is beautiful. Right. It is. It this feels so is soft. Beautiful. Listen, there's a lot of people that already know that this is. Yeah, I think this yarn is super ah. popular. Um, Tracy. And the exciting thing is, That's Steph- Stephanie. Is from Edmonton, and we've met. This is the designer. So, her can I see her name? If you're gonna follow her on Instagram and all the other things, is all about Ami, which I think is Amagurumi. All about Amagurumi. She is an unbelievable artist, and she's got a million patterns, knit and crochet. Um, she's and she says sweetheart. She's the designer of the but blanket, she, not but the this yarn. This is two of yarn. This is two of wands okay. yarn. But they both yes. clearly work for their ambassadors. Or somehow are connected yes. through Lion Brand. So she's got a ton of um, designs through there. But such a nice human and such a talented designer. And um, it was, I mean, I just love, I just legitimately love her designs. So. Anyway, somebody is going to take home this this kit. What a great prize. I thought so. I, th- I think someone's going to love it. Plus, um, I'm still psyched and on like the granny square fumes high. Oh, totally. So funny. I love it. Love it. And I will absolutely make myself a blanket. But I think what I'm going to do with mine is a stash scrappy something. Okay. Yeah. I would still love to do a blanket. I've got so much yarn. I have to do something. Like, I have to. Um, Okay. So, um, Rochelle, a.k.a. Moondrake Yarn, a.k.a. the most adorable person ever. Do you know, like, 1111? I know. The joy she exudes when you talk to her. What did I do with my packing cube? Do you have the packing cube? No, you put it back over there. Oh. I wish oh, yeah. that we were able to spend I know. time together sitting and visiting. I know she's super busy and it's so much work for vendors, but yeah. I would love to have gone for a meal mm-hmm. or something. She is the loveliest person. So And works, you know, her husband's working the booth with her. It's exactly what would, excuse me, happen. So, um, Rochelle gifted... And she's like, make sure you come to my booth. I have something for you. Oh my and God, her yarn is just unbelievable, so which has always been. But she's always got a new base coming out. And she's done such a great job collaborating with designers. Okay, this, this. Okay. This. On. Oh, I keep getting it wrong. Can... This is what she gifted us. Yes. So this is a brand new base. I think this one's the, the newest. Oh, one. never mind. This one? Yeah. The pink? I mean, they're both. It's yeah. called Plush Packa. Plush oh. Packa Packa. It's got baby alpaca. Good. I'm willing to overlook that it's alpaca. Good thing it's so Look gorgeous. It's totally our color family. So this is a 70% baby alpaca, 30% merino core. So all the fluff is alpaca and the core is all merino wool. So what that means, you guys, with alpaca. I got to see the weight of it. It's going to grow, color. right? Alpaca yarn grows without another fiber in it. This has a merino core, which means you will not get the growth right. with this yarn. This is stunning. Okay. Here okay. we go. Plush Packa Packa. I think this might be Aaron. It's 162 yards for 100 grams. 
Do you think it might be bulky? I think you're going to be able to knit it to lots of gauges. Okay, let me just show oh, you this, geez. you guys. Of course, they're not. They're saying... Um... <gasps> so it's very, very fluffy. It's kind of boucle -ish, the way it's kind of crimpy. Oh, I don't think it's on... Um... But I, that's I'm why. guessing with 162 yards per 100 grams, it's probably an Aran. It's you... hard to know because alpaca is very light. Yeah. And it's not there's... like wool. There's so much fluff to it. You could probably knit it to, e to either way, another weight up or down. Yeah. I think you can knit it to a chunky gauge for sure. Or an Aran, right? Do you think this is... No, chunky. Is chunky... After Aaron? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I feel like that's the... That's the zone. Sorry, I can't find any yeah. information about the weight of it, but it is... Stunning. It is. Look at that. Single strand. So, yes, you're going to be able to knit that. It's stunning. It's so gorgeous. Uh, I can't wait. I think it would make a what phenomenal did she say? hat. Tell us what she said when you said, well, what am I going to knit? That's your problem. <laughs> not my problem it's your problem well I said to her is that my problem she goes yeah that's your problem um and she also um shared this arapaca blend which is a baby surrey alpaca silk and 50 grams 328 yards so it's like a surrey alpaca but it it's is good. a surrey alpaca it is a surrey alpaca gorgeous it's amazing um, and you got a tie, like pale blue. What's mine that is called? called silver, but it really leans bluey. It's gorgeous. This is called sprinkles, and it's got very subtle, <gasps> you guys. Um, beautiful speckles. I absolutely so love it. Beautiful. So Rochelle, thank you a million thank yous. And then I also bought Fula another. Fua. Yes, I did. I bought another skein. Oh, that's what you got. Is this your color, frozen? Yeah. Um, and then I also got you guys rose quartz Oops. is the light one. And I got the same neon princess as the other one. Oh, nice. And these three. Jody, that's amazing. Oh, oh my gosh. Did you think you were going to run short? No, I just love oh. it. You know what? Here's the thing. Her booth was mobbed. Mm -hmm. When we got there late in the day on Saturday, later in the day, it was well I was, shot. And I'm always, I'm not complaining. I'm always so happy for vendors. There's so much work that goes into bringing your work somewhere. She came all the way from Oklahoma. Um, it is a big deal. So yeah, I want you to go home with your suitcase empty. But there was also a Friday night event shopping. It was yes. a masked event and a million people went to it, yeah, which we, was we great. Thought maybe it'll be quiet. Maybe we should go Friday night. No. Nope. Apparently it was just so, so well attended. That's wonderful. So yes, I bought another of the blue. So if you need another one, I have one. Anyway, this Fua Fua is kind of like a very luxurious, fluffy option for knitting. It is, it seems to go a long way. Um, I think and, Alicia Plummer just um, released a sweater. Mm. Just in this, single stranded. A short God. sleeve tee. Oh, that would be cute. Yeah, it is. Great. And then this is Rochelle's spin cycle color. It's called Moonlight. She's actually got two. Does she really? Rochelle has two spin cycle colors. There's one called Moonbeams. Is that a new one? This is the newer one. What does Moonbeams look like? It's, oh, it's got it right here. That's so funny. It's beautiful. Um, her booth, her, her color sense. Oh, Tracy. It's <gasps> gorgeous. I think... Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that. Isn't that isn't it wonderful? Yes. Look at so, that. So, but this. anyway, her all of her yarn is beautiful. Oh, that with this. She worked so hard. She's another one that's at yeah. all the shows. Yeah. Um, she will be at Woolen Folk, I believe, again. She'll is that also, right? I don't know if that's right. She'll also be at Sacred Sheep in Portland. Okay, maybe I'm not right about Woolen Folk. Actually, I don't know if she's gonna be at Sacred Sheep. Yes, she is, I think. Okay. 99% sure that's true. Yeah. We cannot Google it. We should have a warning she should at the be beginning. A, may she, or may not be accurate. She should be at it. Yeah, yeah. If you do happen to see her. And you know what? She has an online shop. Yeah. Click and shop. Yeah. Oh, 
You won't regret it, you guys. Her bases and her color sense are so fun, whimsical, and she's an amazing person. <laughs> totally. Okay, here's one funny story. One funny story. If you have been around a long time, you'll know last year I got the Longway Homestead Fiber Yarn Club. Yes. So it was a breed special breed of the month club is what it was. Um, so every month I would get 100 grams of yarn and it would be a card telling me about the breed and the spun yarn. It was awesome. I loved it. I loved it. I think if you're into that kind of thing, you should definitely support Longway Homestead and get it. The first month that I bought that, I accidentally bought the Fiber Club, which is wonderful if you know how to spin yarn, which I don't. Um, and so I just put it out there. Who wants some fiber? Because this needs to be spun and I would love for someone to have it. Mm -hmm. Guess what? Lindsay happened to be at, she happened to be the one that got the fiber and she happened to be at Flock Fiber and she brought the yarn back to me. So this has, you know, made its trip to Lindsay. I sent it with love. Hopefully you, you love it. And I hopefully you have joy spinning it. I never expected to get yarn back. Are you sure it's Lindsay? Okay. Yes, I am. Oh, yeah. um, and this was the month where it was a Romney, 100% Romney. She spun it to a DK sportish weight. It is... This was a really fun moment. This oh, was a really fun moment. I, this podcast is you and I talking to an iPad. And then when we travel or whatever, we get to meet people and just having that interaction and feeling that there is a connection mm -hmm. has been awesome. I completely it? agree. Yeah, it's, it's overwhelmingly amazing when we meet people in person and these kind of connections get made again. Yeah. Or like Nancy yes. with our Christmas card totally. and now we're friends Christmas and card, Nancy. <laughs> traveling together and Jess, we met at Pender Island. Nancy, we fell in love with her daughter, Zoe. Her whole family. It's uh, but we did get to spend time with Zoe because she's a fiber person and oh. she's very crafty. But yes, yeah, so my, my intention was um, for her to spin this and knit herself yeah. self something and now I got this beautiful gift back so I can't wait to knit something with it she also included me and she had per had bought is brought so this cool. for me as well that look would at, be so beautiful look at in the color work listen when it comes to hand spun for some reason not for some reason I treasure it is treasure spun. um I actually want to show you so Lindsay thank you so much for including me totally because some people don't just do stuff for you whatever that is not true. No. Um, okay, middle child. Look at this. This was the first thing I purchased. That is stunning, Jody. And every once in a while, Jody just ditches me and then comes back with you guys, treasure. Okay, so here's the thing. This is, she makes this most beautiful yarn. It's just treasure. I'm just putting on a shelf so I can look at it. It's this chunky spun and it's fun colors and stuff. Somebody please help me with the name of this. What a beautiful um, logo. For some reason, I didn't realize that I wasn't going to get the name on the logo on the card. You know what I think you should do? I think you should crochet a little basket that you use all the oh, time. What a good idea. It's chunky, right? So yeah. you can have you can have a very decent sized little... 66 yards. Like maybe a pen holder or needle hole. Like who knows what, but... If you could make it into something that would just sort of sit on your desk or that you would use all that, that is out of this world gorgeous. You guys, it was it was so beautiful. I'm so Darn upset. It. Um, Please, someone help me with this label. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'll go on the vendor site. Do you have something to show so I can go on the vendor list? I have so much to show that it's kind okay, of part of this world. Um, when we were at... So what are you what are we showing? Stuff you bought? Whatever you want. Um, guess we have another. We have a flock giveaway today too, which we'll do in, in Ravelry for everybody. Um, when we were on Pender Island, or sorry, oh, Amanda from Melanated Boho okay, Bay. That's so funny. I was looking at that yarn, going, that reminds me of 
What? Her yarn. Have we seen her before? I follow her on Instagram. We met her. I think, yes. sure, we met at Rhinebeck. But I follow her, and I've seen her yarn, and I thought to myself, it totally reminds me of her yarn, but I don't know oh. for sure. I, this is treasure yours. Yes. You should have seen. It was very difficult to, pr- to pick one. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for Lucky. that. Lucky. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so when, okay, how fun was this? We got to meet Gary. Gary knits and rides Gary. Okay. Raising you money he was to fight cute AIDS, online, Gary. He's cuter in person. Holy moly. That was unexpected and super fun. He's actually another one I would have loved to set down with. Me too. Yeah. I totally agree. So anyway, we went to the Lamb and Kid, and like I said, I was squishing yarn. I didn't know what to make. They had all these samples, and I kind of felt, I I fell in love with her Italy collection quite a while ago. Yes. So this is, oh. this, um, this color is Spritz. And on the birdie base, which is a light fingering, it is also a here, Surrey alpaca. Oh, here, let me hold it. Yeah. This is part of the knit along, or the giveaway. Is it? Awesome. I have, so yes, this is Diamond Lane yarn. This is what you get through the Lamb and Kid. Um, you could so this is here. her Surrey alpaca. Yeah. And they had a sweater that was knit single stranded in this. And I thought, okay, that won't be too hot. I think I could totally do that. So I just couldn't leave Spritz there and bought those, but I did choose a palette. I don't know. I just chose these guys. This with is so good. These guys. I don't really know what order they're going to, I think I do. I don't really know what order they're going to be. I think this was a, I just couldn't leave it either. And this was yes. Tattersall. Yes. Which is Amazing. And there was only two skeins. And I did, so I got a few of this gray, which is called Vintage, mm-hmm. super soft gray. And then some, I, I'm picturing stripes, Vintage and stripes. And this is Loam, uh, plaid is my favorite color, and Fountain. So kind of nice, right? I don't really have a pattern, so good. but I love you know the colors. Do you know what I meant to ask her? But I forgot. Why are some bases labeled plucky knit? No, sorry. Slip of the tongue. Lamb and kid. Lamb and kid. And why are some diamond lane? Yeah, we should ask. I meant to ask. Um, the other, so there is a thicker version of this. I think it's just a double thickness. It's mm-hmm. called Big Birdie. Knit a cowl with it last year. So it's epic. I honestly, there's the fancy sweater. That's the only thing that I thought to myself, geez, me, I should have brought that home. But you know what? Another time, I'm totally, I'm thrilled next with visit. next visit. I mean, I'm thrilled with this stuff. So, you know, it's a lot when you don't really know what you're knitting, but I feel like stripe, fluffy stripes. Yeah. Fluffy stripes. Yeah. And I should probably blame Susan for that because she was like, oh yeah, I love it. Susan's right here. Oh, <laughs> she'll take that blame. Listen, she showed me a t-shirt that was knit single stranded. And it didn't feel too delicate, and it didn't feel too overly hot. She was wearing a fluffy sweater. She was wearing a ranunculus that was so cute. In fluff. But yeah. when you're knitting In fluff shorts, and short sleeves. Yes. Listen, short sleeves, even if it's a fluffy yarn, I feel like... I'm dying. You're good to go. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, anyway, um, everything Lamb and Kid was phenomenal. And I'm very excited to knit fluffy. I love it. It's my favorite. I love fluffy too. Can I just show this? So yeah, part of our giveaway is a yes. lemon kid tote bag. Oh, perfect. So is that one mine? I think that was yours. Okay, good. Yeah. yeah. So these are just, you know what, when we, we know traveling, yeah. we're so fortunate to do that. And it's super fun when we go to bring back stuff for a giveaway. We love it. Um, I'm just going to shout out Zoe right now. Yeah, everybody else just talk amongst yourselves. This is for Zoe. Um, I just want to thank you again, Zoe, for the amazing pouch that you made me that I'm going to keep every one of my treasures. It is so special. She is a phenomenal, crafty Zoe's girl. Zoe's eight, eight, you guys, yeah. and she has her own sewing machine, and she embroiders. And she said it was super easy because she has a klutz book on embroidery, so of course, 
How hard could it be? And then she doesn't realize it's it's not easy for everybody. She's phenomenal. Um, how cute is this? She handmade the whole thing, you guys. And a unicorn card. Embroidered her names. Are you embroidered kidding? daisies because she knows how much I love them. Jody got a unicorn. No, what did you get? I got a crown. Cupcake crown. Yeah. Is that anyway? In your fave colors. Oh my. Oh, and this is a needle. This is sewing and a needle. She embroidered. Oh. Yeah. And um, she happens to, is this knitting or crochet? Crochet. Whatever it is, it's phenomenal. Ooh, I, I shouldn't say. That could be knitting. It's kind of, I think it's knitting. Yeah. So Actually, she's a rock star. We she loved, is a rock star. Love. She came to definitely the knitting. She came to the show with us on Saturday and we hung out. She was um, all over. She knew the vendor. She knew what she wanted to look at. She was a Do very, you know? very good companion at a fiber event i know nancy posts her on social media so she won't mind this i just gotta go in just a minute anyway makes you feel pretty darn special sure nancy now we have friends <laughs> that one <laughs> what? It was so bad that one that was cute yeah this is us at the festival, so excited to buy yarn. Look at her. She was like head to toes in, you know, and she didn't complain once. She had her hat, woolly hat. She had a wool sweater and wool socks. Well, she was with her mom. Maybe she was complaining to her mom, but I didn't hear her complain either. I think she was having a ball. Is she not adorable? Yeah, she was oh, a I sweetheart. Her. And her so brother fun. was so fun, but he was doing something with his dad that oh my day. God, her brother was so funny. Yeah, he was. Okay, let's Oops. put this on. Was kids he? are funny. I like hanging out with kids. They're hilarious. Like those shows that they have on TV where it's like the, what the kids say. I don't know if they have them anymore. But it's like the kids say the darndest things. Or kids that are just indifferent and they're just like exasperated by how weird grown-ups are. It's like, I told I you. I told you. <laughs> I told you. I'm seven. Okay. You Apparently did. you were you know listening. What? You're not wrong. You told me once and I didn't remember. Right. He doesn't realize we have no memory. Um, so the flock merch was awesome. There's the cute little project bag. I love collecting these as I do too. As like a commemorative thing, right? They're they're always a great um, canvasy drawstring, and they squish really well. I have them from. I try and buy them at everything, actually. It's a great one. Was this a giveaway too? Well, no, that, well, yes. I mean, we have so much. We should talk about botanical yarn. She gave us all, she wouldn't you, let us buy a thing. She Listen, Sophie is such a sweetheart. She came all the way from the UK. Um, and she, talk about wanting to go out for dinner. I feel like we should have had a dinner party. Hmm. Right? She came with her. Her with Mike. Mike. They came from the UK. They came to be vendors of Flock. Then they were going to have a holiday. Her booth was packed with beautiful yarn, like beautiful yarn. And bags, a commemorative bag that was just for flock and yarn. So this also, I said to her, this is what I would love to get for, you know, we're going to bring it home as a giveaway. And she said, absolutely not. It's yours. Like, you're not paying for it. Okay, I love this bag. Me too. So the, she did a commemorative sock set for flock. That's what this is. It came, comes with a cute little stitch marker. And she had these adorable little project bags. It's like, it's not little, It's not you guys. tiny. And it's got a, it's boxed bottom and it's got a really nice webbed handle. I love it. I love this bag. So, yeah. Sophie, not only was it amazing to see you, but, but we started talking about the breast cancer fundraiser. And I said, you know... She, I said, would you be interested? I would love to highlight your yarn. And she's like, is this pink enough? So we already have some beautiful botanical yarn. Um, mohair and fingering weight. This is a kit for a lady violet swatter. Yes. But of course, you can knit whatever you like. Yes. They. She, ah. So Sophie collabs with um, so Twin good. Set and Pearl. The Twin Sister Design Dynamos, also from the UK, which was so fun because we got to meet them in Vancouver. And then she gave Tracy this kit. Yes. <gasps> so again, I'm thinking ranunculus. 
What this. color is that yarn? It's so pretty. So this will make Lady Violet. So I guess I have some thinking to do. This is the color Peony Memory, and it's so good. You guys, don't you think this is so, like, soft and pretty? Your pattern's included in these kits, you guys. Oh, wow. Okay, well, there you go. I'm going to bring up the shawl just so you guys can see the next kit I'm going to okay, show the you. the generosity was... It's so beautiful. But I'm a huge admirer for a long time of Sophie's yarn. She does gradients and fades and kits and she's doing, I think, a book club thing at some point. Like, so many fun, um, you know, go-getter collabs. Yeah. You know, you yarn dyers are amazing. We are. So, <laughs> so thank you. And if you're interested in these beautiful colors, you know where to find them now. Botanical yarn. She's also... Um, Okay, I didn't really know that that was the pattern. Okay, so we'll figure that out. She's also... The pattern is beautiful. The pattern's beautiful. She's also uh, gifted me a kit. She had a sample in this. I'm going to show you the kit. Her and then I'm going to show you the so shawl. so fun. So it's... Um, the main shawl is with this neutral color. It's a fingering white shawl. But let me show you what you do with the pops of color of mohair. Okay, what is that? Is that Amy's bandana? It's called a Cecil shawl. Okay. I'm just going to go into the hashtag because I, I'm really hoping... Oh, here it is. So who's... Okay, the Cecil shawl. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's adorable. <laughs> See, these are the colors that are in my kit, you guys. Yeah, yeah they had so many beautiful samples. Oh my god, that's hilarious. See if I can get a still shot. Oh, there we go. Was this in um, the Neons and Neutrals book? I don't know. It's by Seashell Shawl. By oh. Twin Set and Pearl. Oh, by Twin Set and Pearl. So no. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So yeah. Gorgeous. Yes, gorgeous. And look, she's got these too. So that was going to be with the pink. the pink. Yeah. That was going to be with the... We'll put the pink one yeah. in there. So wowie wow. And yes, this sock set is going to be the cutest. We're going to add that to the giveaway. Exclusive flock fiber sock set. I love her speckles. Aren't her speckles great? Her speckles are amazing. Yeah. yeah. Let's show this one because I thought this one was really great. Okay. You know, I sort of like gave myself a bit of a heart attack. I'm looking for this stuff. To this, get organized for today, but I realized you had. So I had much it all it. together. Okay, so we have talked about um, Pacific Knit Co. And if yes. you remember, they're those clear decks of car in that clear plastic container. Yeah, she's gone away from those. These are the same. They're in boxes. Yeah, but she had an exclusive card deck for Seattle. Um, launching yes. at the show, and there was also a summer kit that she had just launched as well. Okay, so here's the summer, and here's and now the they Seattle. come now they come in like a little cardstock, just like a, a deck of cards. And what is this doodle? It is literally let me show you. Every card is a colorwork motif for knitting. So whatever you want to do with that colorwork motif yep. is up to you. There are little there's cards in here that give you, um like a recipe for a cowl or a recipe for certain things. See, this is the Seattle skyline with the, it's so the cute. needle and the wheel. So cute. That one's very specific to Seattle, which is fun, right? That's the merch for the, for the thing. Yeah. People are asking, I'm wearing the Calyx by uh, Elizabeth Doherty and there is a Ravelry page for it. It was really fun to knit. I knitted in the Shibui yarn that's um, recommended and it's, held up so well it is one of my favorite summer knit my first summer knit is it i would knit it yeah. again tomorrow i love it so pacific knit co also had these super cute um stickers we're going to throw in a couple of those for your giveaway and fan girl fibers shared a booth that's emily emily um shared a booth with pacific knit co yeah it was a huge beautiful booth Emily does these little mists. Who doesn't remember these? Right. My, we had, I, I think, feel like we had them all for my kids. Um, so she's done a whole bunch of packs where she calls them doodle cowl kits. Yeah. So with the doodle kit box and the yarn is basically a kit to do, make your own cowl pattern. Yeah. 
right? Um, and she, they were so generous. So they've thrown in the super cute little stitch markers, the yarn, and we will have um, that as part of the giveaway for sure. Um, and I think one maybe might just go into our prizes. Great. Right? So one set for now, one set for the end of our um, knit along. She How has much? beautiful yarn. Go check her out. She was adorable. Emily, it was so good to meet you. It was great to meet her. And like so many color combos. They called it the doodle bar. Because yes, you could get all your, you guys, this, and I've said this before and I'll say it again. These are genius. I'm getting tired of it. <laughs> Stop saying it. Uh, genius. Okay, so one of these must be for a giveaway. I. Oh, maybe and, the, and the other stitch markers. So you have two full giveaways. So maybe I should just put this in, in here for here. a prize for our... Do you want to put everything in here? This one, will, <laughs> this one will go with this. Where's the other stitch markers? In here. I put it in here already. Okay, good. So this yeah. will be a prize for our knit along this ending. Oh, wow. The only reason we're able to have such amazing prizes is because of the generosity of That's yours. makers like this. Yeah. So we can't thank you enough for supporting. We love sharing your stuff, and it's really fun to put it out in the world as a prize. It just uh, keeps the yes. everything going, the community going, and we really, really appreciate it. Um, on a bit sadder news, to know, just tell, tell everybody, Jordan and I were both registered for Taylor Swift tickets. I didn't know where you were going. My heart oh. was like, where are we going? Um for Toronto, we both registered, and then we both registered for the RBC Avion, which you didn't even, in fact, have to have an RBC Avion card to register. And we both got waitlisted, and we both did not get tickets. That's the worst. I wasn't going to go, but I was certainly hoping. Of course. But whatever. It is sad news, and it is turning out to be... It's a bummer. Everyone wants to see her. She's amazing. I get it. I am also a Swifty. She's incredible. I'm, it's lovely that people get to go. It's just a bummer that Jordan doesn't. If she comes to Edmonton, that would be yeah. an, another chance, which would be great. Um, if anyone's selling tickets. Right. Hit me up. If anyone um, has some kind of an emergency and can't go. Yeah. Jordan will be there overnight. Okay. Right. So Grace, um, uh, Goose and Goats Knits. No, sorry. She's in here. She's Ashley. Ashley. Yeah. Um gifted us she bags did. okay not just bags she designed the fabric yes so this is really crafty all the crafts fabric so cute and then makes these adorable little bags and the bottom is kind of um what do you call it's that? interfaced yeah so it's got for like little, quilting it's stuff. very softly interfaced so it's still squishy which it's, i love her bags her company is ashley grace art and Goose and Ghost Knits she's got as well, which is I these love, bags. I love her artwork. These it's are gorgeous. awesome. So They're we're so also nice. going to give these um, it was so these giveaways. So there's the perfect little sock sack. Or maybe you're doing like little granny squares. It's just the perfect little thing. I this love would be great this. for a sweater. This is it a would. That's a great all-purpose. Bag. So nice. Um it was Thank really you, We Ash. did meet lots of vendors that their companies were new to us, which I love. Yeah. Like this did you get your hello lavender it's in here hang on hold the phone show your hello lavender okay hello lavender ah. um mm. you guys you know when i went back and checked i was like well yes i follow her on instagram but of yeah. course instagram doesn't show me everything i want to see so yeah. seeing her booth was amazing she makes these incredible stitch markers and i mean incredible this is she hand makes these and hand paints them is that the flock set no that was sold out oh, okay yeah they're huge they're amazing i love these little happy face this is strawberries and a picnic one of them's a winky face one of them's a happy face and one of them's kind of like oh can you imagine the work it takes her to get ready and she let me was tell you they had lovely. so many she had so many options like they were huge sets so a strawberry a strawberry flower and a strawberry leaf it was so lovely to meet her oh and this picnic blanket you guys has too many strawberries she was her her making was stunning yeah the just booth, stunning the booth was incredible 
these are treasures that you would add to gifts that you would treat yourself to give to a knitter when you're not sure or a maker. These would work for this. I just think too, it's kind of hard when like to buy some people yarn sometimes. Yeah. So something like going to Hello Lavender or, or Stitch Marker people, um, who doesn't love that? There'll always be something that sort of screams mm -hmm. for that person that you're knitting for, mm -hmm. right? I love these, and I put them away and already kind of half forgot about them, but after today, now that they've been shown and everything, I am i can't wait to start using them. I do want to say the findings that she uses can be used for crochet or knitting. Mm -hmm. It can be used for a circle, a closed circle ring, but it also opens, so it's good for like marking or crochet. Yeah. So it works for every craft. Yeah. Our friend Lolly of Ocean Loops has got me back into cute stitch markers. <gasps> when is her Barbie collection? Tomorrow. Right. I have so to get it. There's a Barbie and Ken. Listen, I could go back to that movie again tomorrow. I don't have time, but I'm gonna. I'm gonna. It'd be fun to go to Calgary and we'll go. We should go see it with her. Yes. Anyway, so good. Okay, you guys. Let me tell you, I shit the bed with stickers. Jody, I love stickers. Why? It's kind of like, why do we buy stickers? Because they're I so cute. Them. They are so cute. So I went into. Wow, look oh, at you. That was. <gasps> well, I have Denim and Rain right here. Okay, Denim and Rain. You guys. We got to meet Sarah and her sister. She does pottery as well. Amy. Amy. Um, actually, I bought a <gasps> one of Amy's. Melanated Boho, I found it. Oh, good. Um, you uh, we, I bought a vase. So Amy's a beautiful potter. Yeah. It's Pennington pottery, Pennington design, I think. Um, and I gave the vase to mom. Oh shoot. I didn't bring my vase. To, anyway, next time I brought another one for myself from someone else. So Cute. whatever. But Sarah is amazing and she does these incredible sheep and she has been doing them based on yarn dyers, um, colorways. And then. Was it a couple of years ago? She did one for us with our logo colors, which is insanely gorgeous. And so, you know, full circle moment. We're back in Sarah's booth and look at her gorgeous sheep. These are hand poured resin. Look at the gold leaf. She's amazingly talented. Don't you love it? Yes, so talented. And Amy so had beautiful. pottery like sort of like these little sheep on wire, like these decoration mm. things that were for pre-order. Which did that too. Which we did. <gasps> so now we're gonna have another surprise coming in the mail. Cause I'll forget about it. And Sarah is this incredible artist. So she's hand paints these as well. These were originals for like yeah. 30, $30, I think. Wow. She had a whole bunch of them. So again, you can go to their shop, you can buy their stuff all the time. You didn't miss anything, but they're just awesomely talented. Yeah. And I love the sister vibe, the sister booth. Yeah. It was super fun. Okay, so the other booth I went to that Zoe and I spent a ton of money in <laughs> um, was... Yeah, that was a really cute booth. Wildwood. They did something that they sort of never seen, right? They had sticker packs that were like related items. Theme packs, kind of. This is from CeruleanOrchid.com. And it was all original artwork. I won't open that package, just a sec. Um, but here are some of the stickers. They were kind of all yarny related. Like, look at this. Like modified. Yeah, so cute. Oh, let me just show you a few. Because but they had so many. Like A gnome. Pop. I love that one. So many pop culture things. And they've just sort of modified them <gasps> to be like stitchy, Garbage. Right? <laughs> it's a lamb. It's an alpaca. <laughs> it's an alpaca. Aw, see, they look innocent and then they hork on you. <laughs> hork. Who says hork? <laughs> Everybody does says it. Everybody says hork. Listen, once you've been spat oh. on by an alpaca, you can say that. Oh, wow, that's cute. Yeah, so? That's cute. It was amazing. What else do I have here? Pennington that... Design. That's that's the potter. That's okay. Amy. That was one of the potters. That yeah. was her sister. What's this? Denim and rain. Love. Gorgeous. Very talented artsy Clock ladies. fiber. Gorgeous. Okay, that tells you all the vendors. Yeah, melanated boho. I love her. Just so okay. I also feel like we go to these things on a Saturday, and it's so much fun, and you get to say hi to so many people. And when we leave, and then I see what other people got or what, I feel like I've missed half of it. 
I feel like we don't do like we need to do over on Sunday because we're visiting. We're visiting. Um, Viking Fiber. They were fun to meet. Yes, yes. There was a group of about from six Colorado. makers, and one of them, oh, two of them were ha- they were dyers. Yeah, and they were just attending the show. Uh, one of um, Kyle's husband designed his logo. I'm going to show you this logo because it's so good. It was so good. Look at it. Knit stitches for the beard. It's Viking Fiber Co. They were very, very, very sweet. And they were they traveled as a group, the six of them. Check them out, to you Seattle. guys. Seattle. Um, it was really, really nice to meet. They were lovely everybody. to meet. And I'm, I'm not complaining about the visiting. I love the visiting as much as I love the shopping. Yeah. We're probably better at the visiting, if I'm being honest. Oh, we got that down We're pat. way better at the visiting than the shopping. The visiting and eating. Right. <gasps> Look what I got. I could have gone back and for another cheese thing. These were in Rochelle's booth. That's they so were Korean. Cute. Were they Korean or I'm Japanese? I'm not sure where she got them. I can't. But I ironically chose an alpaca one the day before we went on our trip. See, they be, they we love them because they're cute. Right. Little did we know they're horkers. Right. <laughs> Horrible. Actually, I'm. I did ask her. I think they were Korean. Anyway, these are. Um, Adorable little pouches that were made in Rochelle's booth. Agreed. Oh, made in Korea. <laughs> People are like, apparently she can't read. You guys, so. I love this. Everybody else knew once you showed it. They are super cute. And they're kind of like... They're plastic. Treated, like fab- fi- fabric yeah. underneath, but they've been kind of coated. So they're waterproof and stuff, but they're still kind of soft. They're the perfect little what size. What is the pattern on the inside of yours? Mine's like... Scissors and vases. Oh, yeah, same thing. Okay, so cute. It is adorable. Um, so another thing, honestly. You guys. So I came home with the, the Diamond Lane Surrey Alpaca to make something fluffy. And my other thing was buying everybody's... Sp- <laughs> Listen, I don't even know what okay. I did here. No, I, it made us feel... Yeah. I loved it. Can I just say I loved it? This is... Pale September. Spin cycle dyed in the wool. This is the custom color for the shop La Mercerie. Look at it. <gasps> like it's like a <laughs> sunrise. So the golden yellow, the peaches and pinks. Oh yeah. Yes, obviously. This is why yeah. I bought this. So this is dyed in the wool. I mean, I only needed one skein to do my miserina. You only need one skein for the color work. I can do lots with one skein. Yeah. You know who else was amazing to see? And we sh- I can't believe we haven't said. Amy. La Bien Amy. She flew all the way over. Um, she was in the La, La Mercerie booth. And also the designer Amy Sher was there. And I asked. I thought I would love to say hi. I love her work. Did we and miss her? She must have been on a break or something because I didn't oh. see her. But uh, we did get to hug Amy. And that's always she was also she, she was brought also on all her samples yeah if i'm honest i wanted to circle back with amy I but like, we missed like and we, she's working she was busy but, but like, we looked for her again and couldn't find her maybe she was having a break maybe she was having a cheese dog oh good for her listen she was. the cheese dogs were worth all the break yeah. i hope she was on a break eating a cheese dog i hope dog. so too i hope so too um So is this the moment where we just share all the spin cycle we bought? Spin cycle's a local yarn company out there. That's so funny. (laughs) Um, It's, it's, I don't know what it is. It's like, it's irresistible. It's so beautiful. And their booth was packed. And I know we always say we kind of pass by booths that were always packed, but not this time. Just wanted to see, like, when do we ever see it in person this, with that much stuff? When you can select your own. Yeah. Um, So I did... I did. I don't think I for sure didn't see everything because there was a lot of people in there. But one popped out at me, and I had never seen it before. I'd never heard of it, and I was like, "Oh, I love you. the amount of spin cycle they had under the table for restocking." And that's one thing I love. I know these shows, and I love it when vendors go low on stock. It means they've had a great show. Yeah. But I also love that we were late in the day on day two, and there was still. Oh, full bins. I feel like there was no way they were going to run out of no. stuff. There was I feel, some I think it didn't matter everybody. what time you went. Yeah. You were going to... And they did do a show color, which I think they had a million. I've wound... Is that this? No. 
You guys, I took it out. I wound mine already. Okay, so their show color is called Flip It and Reverse It. And it's this really cool combo of these colors. But let me tell you, this had so many versions of it. Mm -hmm. There was way brighter turquoise versi versions. Um, but I love the pop of sort of the goldy citron. And so I'm going to get lots of color variation in that, I think. I don't know. This and is, this was spectacular. This is way. also in their shop update today. Yes. So they did not sell out of it, which is fantastic. And now if you didn't go, um, you guys, mine, it's available. I wish I would have remembered to bring that's mine. Today. Yours was so different. Because I wound it up. It's going in my Alpine Blooms hat. But mm. um, it's turquoisey and it's eggplant and there's some buttery yellow in there and some pinks and mauve. It is. It's a beautiful color. A really good colorway. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to be in their update today. Yeah. I, I think so that's if what anyone's email, looking. Honestly, never, never take what we say with a grain of salt because. It could already happen. I could be lying, but I'm pretty sure that's what it said in the email. My nose is runny. Yeah. yeah. I have Kleenex. No, it's good. Okay. I'll just hoard. Let it run. <laughs> I'll just work. Wipe it. Oh. Here, wipe it on Fua Fua. <laughs> Do you know we have a restaurant? Could you imagine? Name? We have a restaurant on White Ave called Fua Fua. I did not know that. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Okay, go ahead. Are you going to show? I keep showing. What about, what are you going to show? Oh, shoot. Yeah. Okay. So I was in the booth and. This is Spin Cycle This is still, still a Spin Cycle booth and they had put kits together. Now, I don't recall the hat this was a kit for, but I thought this kit was stunning. Um, this is called. It was a very Shades simple stockinette hat. Yes. Held with the mohair. This is actually... Is that mohair? This is magpie fiber mohair. No, it's cashmere. So. It's their brushed cashmere. I did not know Yes. That. So this is their brushed cashmere. Now, the difference is that's a silk cord-like mohair, but I think the fluff is cashmere. So I think it's... Feel I the think. difference. Yeah. OMG. Must be Are a battery you issue. Are kidding me? What? It just said 10% left. Yeah, okay. Well, okay. Um, that's not really a battery issue. Is well, because we used to do it for three hours and you'd have 30% left. Hmm. I don't know what the issue would be then. Um, I do have, and we can plan for that. We can get it. That's why I actually, it's funny, because people use the earbuds and then it's microphone as well, like right here. Perfect. I'm happy to do that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, anyway, yes. So cashmere silk, but it's like what we think of as mohair, but the fluff is cashmere and the core is still silk. Okay. So not mohair, not oh, scratchy I've, at all. I didn't know that. This is That's going to make an amazing hat. So you, they just held <gasps> it together and did kind of the stockinette hat. It feels like a newborn bunny. Love it. Um, so then we, yeah. So the other thing, the other one I got was cake pop. What the? Who was hiding this colorway from us? It was literally on the bottom of the display, like right on the floor. Yeah. And I spotted it between a lady's legs and I was like, <gasps> so I bent, bent down and got a whole bunch of them and then picked these ones That's out. so funny. And then that was it. I was done mm. in the booth. But I love, I don't know what I'm I going to I adore make. that. Actually, I got this. This is Big Sky and I have this on That's really the pretty. worsted base. You do. I looked. But you guys, it's I just... so pretty thought these it's got like blues and pinks it's and a, neons it's a pastel neon oh, and i so love good. it um that's that's the, it that's it flock oh my gosh yes we shopped a lot we brought a lot back we had so much fun mm -hmm. um and look forward to returning if you guys are local or want to make a trip you will love it mm -hmm. and you can really do fun things like go to bainbridge island and yeah all that. Go get spat on by an alpaca. That's so funny. All, all kinds of fun awaits you. <laughs> yeah. The, the, the takeaway was we were overjoyed with the people we met. Yes. Seattle was such a stunning city. We had so I much fun. I want to do all the touristy things too. Mm -hmm. I want to do the Space Needle and Pike Place Market and all that stuff. So We ate ice cream at Moa. Mora's ice Mora's cream. Moa's ice cream. I had the blackberry. It was phenomenal. I had the homemade hot fudge. I didn't know it was homemade. Tracy, it was like a warm ganache. <laughs> you had me at ganache. Right. 
Um, so Grocery Girls has had really fun things yes. pop into the shop lately. Whoopsie. Which we always share in our um, newsletter emails and also on Instagram, but we're going to flash it here. Now this... This is really fun. This is called That's What She Said. It's a beautiful color by Scrumptious Pearl, who is an awesome Canadian dyer. And we know how long it takes to make self-striping yarn. So we are so grateful when we were able to place an order. Last time we had the purple mini. This time we have the aqua or the corally bright pink. You get to choose. But this is one, this short pair used about 55 grams of the striping. And if these are 33 gram minis, you can get two shorter pair of socks out of this. Right. One kit. And I mean, you can do a hat, like my Parkview hat. You can do two Parkview hats with it. You'll just use more of the mini. You can hold the mohair. Yes. Um, mohair and get a DK weight gauge for hats, cowls, mitts. It's really fun. But it is, um, it's super fun. It was originally a birthday color for Jody. I know. Love it. So if you want to go back on our I Instagram, I wear my socks all the time. Yeah, and it's still it. right. It's still yes. like the colors that make us so happy. So thank you, Stephanie, for dying up a whole order of that for us. Okay, so the next one, the, you guys loved these kits. We have restocked the fun colors. There's a raspberry, a hot pink, and a turquoise. It's these gleaners on the go. Repair gleaner, kit, quick scissors, fix. Uh, measuring tape. Needle and thread, stitch. It's everything you need. It's great for travel, but it's also just the thing to have to repair any clothing slash sweater items. Yeah. It's brilliant. I didn't brilliant. think I could glove gleaner more than no. the original gleaner. No. This is like, they've taken it to the next level. I agree. Yeah. It's one of the things, if you're wearing garments, even even mittens, even hats, you need a gleaner to deep hill. You do. And yeah. I mean, I don't know about you, but I can never find little sewing things. I don't really have a sewing basket. This is mm -hmm. plenty of room to have stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Tuck it in a drawer. It's, awesome. it's always there. I love okay. it. Okay, so we've had these. We have a restock on these. And these these are embroidery kits. They're, yeah. They're everything you need. Needles, fabric, um, the floss, everything to make exactly this. We love the knitty ones. Yeah, so we've restocked. These are little mini ornaments sweaters okay that's three different ornaments this is going to be one ring with these three these embroidery that's pictures in a piece of yes on one ring oh my god this is a kit that has all the pieces to make those three different sweaters gosh and I then love this it. is a new one you guys it's called sweater weather isn't that beautiful yeah i think these would be so cute you know stitch it for your yarn mm -hmm. loving bestie put it in a little frame I think it's stunning. And this is um, Julie, like knittedbliss.com. Yeah. Now these, this is an embroidery pack. Now, yes. This doesn't come with floss. This doesn't come with needles. But what it is, is a kit you can use to embroider on knitted Anything. items. Anything. You could put that on your jean jacket. You could put it on a shirt. It comes with the fabric that you need to put on there. A hat, a sweater, a bag. Yes. So this will stick. It's got the design printed on it, and it kind of sticks to your item, and you embroider over it. Yeah. And then water dissolves you dissolves guys. that away. Genius. It's phenomenal. You know, I also thought this would be fun if you just wanted to practice. Yes. Like put it on top of another piece of fabric. Yes. And just practice your embroidery skills. Yes. That's smart. It is. That's really smart. I agree. And and so wonderful. We love that. We yeah. love that people are interested in this kind of stuff. Those sweater ornaments, I feel like I need to make some of those. So cute. Yes. And I think there was one or two more designs that are in there, but um, these are just a couple of the new ones. There's lots of embroidery kits. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, so fun. And, yes, totally. I love oh, it. Oh, we restocked. There was two people, and they both got the books, but Yarnology 4 has been restocked. Oh, good. Um, we'll have the pre-order books right away. So Yarnology 4 is the one with the crochet granny squares on the front, and yeah. it talks about granny squares. It's their newest issue. Yeah. So yeah. people were loving it. Love that. Okay, are we going to talk Frankie Gray Fibers? Yes. Yay. Well, we talked about the kits for the Instant Crush sweaters. Good. So those are in the shop. But these are all of our speckles that we did this Jody. week. Jody. I left the hooks on just because I was, say, I was the hooks? extra. But these are some so speckles. These are some speckles that we did. 
Um, I love that. So this much. one's called Gold Rush. That is phenomenal. And with Gold Rush, we are suggesting denim. We are suggesting toffee and parchment. Do you want me to go get my plug in? No. And then we can talk. Take no. That. Okay. Our battery's dying. I'm not sure why. Just batteries end up getting. I mean, I don't remember, don't remember when we got these a couple of years ago. Yeah. But. Batteries just, that's what happens. Yeah. Okay, so this Ooh. one is called Gilded Sea, which is really beautiful, you guys. Lots of different blues, and it's got pops of, like, chestnut and gingerbread. So we've paired Jody, that really beautiful. with slate blue, and we've paired it with gingerbread. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, this one's really fun. This one is called Popsicle. I love that. And it's fun to go with that bright pop of jelly bean, but I also thought there's a there's a darker, dirtier green, so we've also paired it with olive. Super cute. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, this one, you guys, Jordan's put out, she, she put out a uh, 1989 earlier for Taylor's right. um, Yarn Club, Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift Yarn, Yarn Club. Club, but she just announced 1989 Taylor's version. So it's a new cover. So Jordan redid it. Love. So this is Taylor's version. That's super pretty. Of 1989. And she's put Big Apple and Sky High with it. So good. So good. That would make a beautiful sweater with some mohair. It would, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. So this one is called Bear. And it is a very, very soft. There's a barely pink wash on That's there really pretty. and a barely pink champagne so we've paired that with blush and taupe and i feel like taupe is an unsung hero it's definitely right? one of my favorites yes jody <gasps> it's so good yeah okay this one's fun this one is called fun house but it's like pinks and purples Ooh, that's super cute and we've paired it with Concord and Viva Magenta. Whoa. I love. Right? Yeah. Don't Super Barbie. Okay, this is really pretty. <gasps> oh. This is the first 1989. Oh, is it? Yeah, because that's the album cover was totally different. Oh, wow. So that's the first 1989 album. So we've paired it with Blushing Bride. But we also thought it's got tiny little specks of like pumpkin-y color. I feel like you could do something really fun if you went kind of fallish. Oh, I love it. Like even here. I super what love that. Pretty? What was that? Chess toffee. toffee. Toffee is really nice with that. Okay, so this next one is called Campfire. <gasps> I love this Jody, one. Jody, insane. I love it. We've paired it with Chestnut and Onyx. This it would be super great with Black Cherry, too. This has got, like, a little bit of pinks and some soft golds. I love so There's it. some navy in there. This one was really That pretty. is amazing. Oh, I haven't knit with speckles for a while. Post time. <gasps> I was actually just thinking, when you pulled that one up, I was like, oh, I love it as much as Toadstool. There's Toadstool. We've paired Toadstool with Brick. Beautiful. And Charcoal. But Toadstool is like reds and browns and gray and charcoal and it's a really pretty color oh my gosh love love, love. oh my god the pile of yarn one more this is called Ooh. rhode island really yeah it's i love that it's like kind of like beachy like dockside kind of vibe yep. it's got this watery color like driftwood a little bit ter light terracotta so we've paired it with Rosewood and Sand Dollar. Oh, you guys have so many good colors, Jody. So speckles. Lots of speckles Need this week. Need more time to just knit, knit, knit. We had a Seriously. full day of speckle this That's week. That's so fun. Mm -hmm. That is so fun. It's so fun. It's so much fun. Oh, my gosh. I love it. And then Bustani baskets we have. <gasps> oh, sorry. You guys loved Bustani baskets. Yes. But um, I wanted to show you my favorite is the natural... And the tan, this is my favorite. They're so good. That little, this is such a good project size or like storage size. This or... has got those 
four stitching the yarn and then there's that that's all yeah. the stuff i brought totally it would be like a four skein project size yeah. it's very very good so i use mine all the, the time too <gasps> so good so good so nice. it was a great couple of weeks we had lots of fun and adventure and then work and you know, if, ho hope everybody's doing really well yes. out there. We've got some really exciting stuff coming. We do. We've been working really hard behind the scenes. So maybe the knitting's not as much these days, but I promise it's for a good reason. And Sign up for our newsletter. You definitely want to sign up for our newsletter. Go if, to our homepage. It's at the bottom. Just scroll to the very bottom. I feel like we should switch and get it to be that a pop-up thing. Oh, the pop-up was expensive. Really? Yes, okay. unless I'm doing it wrong. No, 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 that's fine. It is literally there. It never moved. It's never moved. But you know what I should do? It's at the bottom I of our homepage. I should move it to the top of our homepage. Maybe that's it's a... just small. Sure. That's sure. what maybe I should do. But um, until I do that, you can find it at the very bottom of just Grocery it's Girls. It's there. Dark, it's it always com. there. Yeah. It's super easy to find. It's at the bottom of the homepage. Because it's... newsletter people, email newsletter people, and we don't send them very often, always get first yeah. news. Yeah. Anything that comes out in our shop. And You're going to want to do it now. You've got, I promise you. Do it now. Yes. And fa fall amps up. There's stuff happening. Yeah. Like it really does. There's lots going on. We're Next really level. excited to go to Knit City Vancouver in a few yeah. weeks. And it's just been a great. It's been great. We hope you guys are having. Oh, I wanted, making something amazing too. I wanted to do a very quick shout out to Maggie. Maggie was on course to come to Seattle. Flock Fiber to meet us and say oh. hello to shop around. Sadly, an old army injury popped up. She had emergency cervical spine surgery. Oh, no. Yes. So she's on the mend, but she wanted to oh say. Oh, my gosh. Best wishes to feel better yeah. and heal fast. She wanted to say hello. Um, your honesty on camera makes me feel like you're both sisters from another mister. Aww. Thank you. I love that. That's yeah. just the biggest compliment ever. So Thank shout out you. to Maggie. Fast speedy recovery oh and then we'll goodness. see you next year maggie get better soon we'll see you at flock next time for mm -hmm. sure okay you guys our battery's gonna die i would love to stay in chit chat i really OMG. would because after this you know work pack whatever yeah i'm gonna get out of here and work some more yeah we're gonna it's work great. today this was so so i love coming to see everybody and check in and show what what's been going on um check over to Instagram for our Hohi giveaway and come to Ravelry. We've got this great flock fiber festival giveaway happening and they'll both be up for about a week. Yeah. Star, thank you. We love mm -hmm. you. To Star and our show, show note fairy, friend. we love you. We love you guys so we'll much. We'll see you in two weeks. Yeah. Oh, Tracy's going to rock out to the Jonas Brothers. I am. Mm, if you're in Toronto, see you.